Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Reign of Emery's here on Dork Tales. Let me move my microphone a little closer for all you sultry listeners. And then let me bump my camera while I do that. All right. Uh, everyone's on the apocalypse screens, so that's good. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the Reign of Emery's here on Dork Tales. I'm your Dungeon Master Kelly. I'm using he and him pronouns, and I am throwing some pretty awful things at my players tonight. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's got good. It's going to be, they're going to really love it. It's going to be like a birthday party. Uh, and the chat is requesting ASMR, so. Um... Hi there. I'm going to infect you with a star plague. Is that okay? You're doing really well. Just look at my light. It's a black light for the black star. Now, <laughs> what if you're already infected? <laughs> oh, that's fine. Then you just get tingles. <laughs> oh my god. You get tingles, and then they kill you. Oh, <laughs> that's a little less fun, but ah, you know what? Vote. You don't have to pay your student loans then. Hey, oh, that's there true. We go. There we go. Uh, I know. So you know, that's there's true. perks to it's. It's you got to look on the bright right? side of everything, Caitlin. Right. This is uh, true. Deadly tingles. Deathly tingles. That should be my my ASMR channel. Deathly tingles. Harry Potter and the deathly tingles. <laughs> deathly tingles. I'm gonna write that down. I hate this. <laughs> Amy is one of the people who really hates ASMR. Um, I love it so I, I, I love can't. it so ASMR as well. I can't. I can't. It's just, I'll let other people do it. <clears throat> it draws just... me nuts. Well, you, you need the right kind. I can't do the mouth the mouth stuff when they kind of like smack when they're talking. <laughs> oh. Ah! Like, ah! oh, just revulsion. Like, Tick me off. I know. <laughs> I get angry. <laughs> really. <laughs> Just don't get ASMR. Well, Rio, like it hits some people. All right, folks. So here is the deal. It is Reign of Emery's night, which means that I am out of focus. That is not what it means always, but it does mean that tonight. So one sec. There we go. It's because I pointed at the screen. All right. Uh, so it is Reign of Emery's night. And if you have missed the last few episodes, then there is a, lo a lot that you've missed, actually. Uh, the characters have time traveled into the future into a post-apocalyptic version of their self, uh, their own world, I mean, uh, some 10 days into the future. So a real, a real jump um, into the time beyond. Uh, the characters have went around, they've done a bunch of things, they've learned that they need to get back using the counterpart to the, the white door, the black door, uh, which is, of course, in one of the Capitol buildings. And uh, the Capitol is swarming with um, um, demons and doom monsters. So, you know, uh, family. <laughs> yeah, I also I like... D&D. D&D, demons and, demons and doors. Um, and uh, I want to thank uh, uh, my, my patron DM, Mike, uh, in the chat right now for being the one who is giving you the door option uh, with the god that uh, he created um, with his Patreon tier. And uh, I want to blame Shulton for creating Blackstar. So, uh, you know what? These two are kind of, you know, they're, they're, in, they're in constant... Uh, constant alignment with each other. It's pretty nice. Uh, so anyway, that is going to be tonight's game. If you have not seen any of this, we need to hop back and uh, uh, go watch it. Uh, the characters are also level 8 now. Uh, and with that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the ball to y'all and uh, tell me uh, what you are taking because um, this week what I did for you all was, uh, for the majority of you, Leiden doesn't need one, um, everybody, I, I, I made a bunch of feats that are Emery's primary. Uh, they're fairly play balanced, but if there's anything tweaky, we can always tweak them. Uh, and also created some uh, some mech writing rules uh, because Mike needs that um, in Vary's life. Uh, so there, there's that. And uh, so uh, when I pass it to you, say whether or not you took any of those feats or what you're doing with your character. And let me know what your class is, your subclass, and uh, why you're happy to be here tonight at the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to go pass it to Caitlin first because she's beneath me. <laughs> I mean, like, location I'm on the screen. I'm beneath you. You're beneath. beneath. I'm probably also the only one uh, that didn't level up to eight. Yet. So that's pretty. I'm oh, you're, you're quick cracking. Level. Oh no, I touched the thing. Don't touch the thing. It's it yeah. I'm going to get you a new cable. <laughs> that sounds fair. I've not you're you're still 
she, she's trying. I think she's saying pass it on while she figures uh, the shit out. All right. So uh, I'm going to pass it to uh, Christine. Hello. Uh, so I am Christine and I play Claudette Ophelia Belmont, our human wizard blade singer. And I took 20 intelligence. Which is I a smart took the option. bonus because it ups my AC, <laughs> which is a wizard is really squishy. It's true. Um, all right. And uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm trying to remember if I hit everything in that introduction or not. Well, hit someone else. Amy! Okay, I have been chosen. Hello, been chosen. I am Amy. I am I use she, her, or they, them pronouns, and I will be playing Leiden and Merov, our uh, grave cleric, uh, grave domain cleric, Asimar. And um, yeah, I took the uh, ability score increase to my strength to go up to 17. So it is now a plus three instead of a plus two, which is nice. And nice. I'm excited for all of the things that I get at level eight as a cleric, because it's like, more radiant damage to things. So much more radiant damage. So much more. Just your, just your it's radiance. Um, Caitlin, are, is that. it is it working okay? All right, let's hear from you, Caitlin. Okay, once I unmute myself, we are we better? We're better. Are we connected? We're, we're, so, we're so good. Yeah. We Heck are yeah. connected. Heck yeah. Okay, hi, I'm Caitlin. Um, I played Talfrin Pridery, our human barbarian of wild magic. Oh and, boy. oh boy. Oh boy, is and, it? Oh boy, because you get things like last game. Ah! ah suddenly, no spoilers. Um, in any case, so I chose on this level up a new feat, um, a homebrew feat. I'm sorry called... for this feat. It's amazing. So we're just doubling down on the wild magic. It's called Blood of Chaos. <coughs> Um, basically, whenever I get an attack, or whenever I take damage, something happens. And we'll yep. find out in game. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we're going to play test the D20 version, not the D12 version, right? Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. And uh, I'll just adjust. If we roll the one that is that I don't like, we will we will redo it. Um, cool. Uh, okay. all right. So who are we passing it to? Oh, uh, we are passing it to Mike? Sure, let's pass it over Hey, to... that pass works Mike. for me. Hey, everybody. My name's Mike, and as of today, or today publicly anyways, I am going by she, her, or they, them pronouns. Congratulations in your poke evolution. Awesome. Um, and I am playing uh, Veritrix Soulstar. She is our lovely little mildly sociopathic arterialist artificer um mildly um and uh i took the feet uh one of kelly's homebrew feats which is magitech ace so that she is awesome in magitech armor which i need in my life um, I just realized and, I could have called it Magitech Maverick, and now I'm feeling kind of bad about that. I mean, you could still change it. Mm, I'll think you about do it. Because I really like that, actually. <laughs> it's pretty um, good. And for all those who have known um, me playing Fairy, we often refer to her as our little diva. I would like to know, uh, state for uh, posterity's sake, I have never played Overwatch. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the character, but I love her style. Uh, and so if I do anything diva related with a mech, I don't mean to. So there we go. All right. Uh, also, as usual, uh, she has her little mechanical flying bunny companion, Crux. All right. And last but not least, let's pass it over to Robin. Hello, everyone. I am Robin. I use she, her, or they, them pronouns. And tonight I am playing our tiefling? Question mark. Uh, Blood hunter. Order tiefling of shaped. Mutant. Tiefling shaped um blood hunter order of the mutant with some serious mommy issues apparently um and i took 
also one of your homebrew feats. Uh, I guess it was ability scores up top and, and homebrew feats down below here. Um, I took the Corruption of the Black Star feat because, uh, you know, I got that Black Star in my veins yep. and it's going to be This feat is all actually really bad. Like, it's a really bad feat <laughs> if you want to survive. Actually, it's great if you oh, want to survive. Oh, God. Yes. I, forgot, I forgot about that middle bit. Oh, yeah. No, the middle one's great. I thought it was a little um, part, little thing, but yeah. No, it's big. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's a big thing. Do you want to say what it does? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I have advantage on death saving throws. I'm resistant to necrotic damage. And once per turn, when I reduce it, target to zero hp i heal the number of hit points equal to my hit die plus con mod um is that hit die what you have currently or is it your like total hit die uh it have? is it is your current primary hit die um so i probably when i when i finish making this it'll be if you're multi-class it'll take the the high like the the highest oh, hit die oh my so i believe you roll die, a, like what i roll for yeah i believe die. you roll a d10 okay yeah yes i do yeah okay um, and then if you die while under the corruption of the Black Star, you have a 50% chance of immediately returning to life as undead or aberration permanently under his control. Each death raises this chance by 10% to a maximum of 95%. Once this has occurred, only a wish spell may re restore you to life and free you from Black Star's influence. Yeah, I, I believe that. that feats should have downsides at times, especially if they're OP. Yeah. And I would tell you what Talfrens does, but it's literally like 190 words minimum. It's big. Because it's a yeah. it's a table. Yeah, I wasn't really sure we should go all the way into it. So we'll just it's, it's it, it does some. We'll, we'll, it'll be a it's surprise. It's a surprise to me too. <laughs> some of these are hilarious. It's so good, so good. I'm so excited. I like that they can damage you too, but we'll see. How yeah, it no, me too. No, I've been I've been like I've just been waiting for that on the wild magic table. Really right? Oh, I need to load my wild magic table. Well, now that I say that, hold on. Knock on wood. Knock on Ikea this is, furniture. This is not, this is not, oh yeah, basically. This is proper that's wood. what I did. Uh, still, that's what <laughs> I have. Calvin knows his wood. Yes. And so does yes, half I, of I love... the Emery's single puppy. Yeah. yeah. No <laughs> so, uh, quick note, I do have the magic armor stuff up here, but mm. when I go to use it uh, for the first bit, I might have to scroll through it uh, to remember what things do. Ask me questions as well. Yes. So, so. Um, for those of you who are going to be hearing this for the first time, uh, I had to create magic armor uh, that was usable by players. Uh, so basically like little little mechs, uh, they're huge sized and um, basically function as a modified wild shape uh, is the quick and easy way to explain it. Um, they're kind of like a big beefy wild shape where you can still die while in this wild shape. But it's difficult because, you know, cockpits are slightly protected all right so uh any last minute things before we hop into play no is that it let's all right let's get fucked up let's get fucked let's, up let's get man fucked I'm, up. I'm, I'm just a little nervous Aww. all right well it's gonna be great it's gonna be great uh all right last episode you managed to make it to the armory cutting through the lower city as you did some strange wild magic <laughs> uh, well I'm going to assume there's no spoilers at this point, but... In the middle of a fight where Zeet was taken over and shot very, some strange wild magic corrupted, well, infected Talfrin, transmogrifying him into an adult silver dragon. This became quite advantageous, for as you ransacked the armory, all you had to do was pry the doors open with his massive, massive strength. Inside, you had a tremendous fight, where you encountered a number of creatures, infernal and worse. As you did, you also discovered a couple of other things. One, that the Catoganians that were being held at the Crucible not only were being infected with Black, the Black Star Phage and transformed into these strange zombie-like ghouls, but Talfrin... Your parents were among the horde. Which means that there's a chance that if you get back in time, you might be able to save them. After defeating the horde, 
you manage to ransack the rooms, finding a number of useful and mystical items. And as you were about to leave and begin your pilgrimage, either back to safety or into the capital itself, you heard the sound of the grinding gears and looming threat of an imperial dropship. And the cacophonous clang, clang, clang. As the dropship unleashed a squad of enemies down in front of the armory. Before you could see who it was, or what threat awaited you, you heard it, and that recognizable voice. Well, 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 it's you motherfuckers! I've been looking forward to seeing where you've been hiding for a while. Finally came out from under your rock. All right, boys, let's dance! You hear from inside as Arcario Maravik striding a helmac the only way to really describe this thing wreathed in veins of magma and unholy light prepares to battle with you and i like a initiative roll please i think that makes sense ooh Oh my god, the one time my feral, what's it called? The thing I just got. Feral instinct doesn't actually matter. Because I got better on my first roll. That's okay. Okay. No, no, Akaro's not allowed to be that good. No, 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 no. (laughs) Wait, no, just get all the 20s out of the way. Just get them all. I gotta get my Zeke dice ready. Zeke got a four? How is that even a thing? Zeke. I got worse than Zeke. Well, Zed actually has like a wow three. Zed has a fourteen because he has a plus ten to his initiative. I statted him out last night. Gunslingers are rough, man. Okay, all right, folks. So I'm just gonna take initiative real quick, and then we're gonna hop into the map screen so you can watch the carnage and we can describe it for you in gory detail. God damn it, you tied again. Three way tie. Uh, I love a good three way. <laughs> Somebody had to make the joke. I someone did. Did they? Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's decide right now who's going first, just to make life easier. So uh, I've got Christine. I've got. I'm probably still popping into the armor, so probably not me. It doesn't matter no. uh, at this point. Who... Okay. I'll do. Did Ivy we want to go? Second. I'll do. If somebody wants to interject, they can. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to have the base order be Claudette Ivy Talfrin. Sure. sure. I don't mind. Okay. God, do I have enough initiative slots here? Hold on. Uh. Alphabetical. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Satisfying. Right? I know. It's CIT. Is that like MIT, but better? <laughs> No, it's a cat. Or no, it's a kit. You're right. Okay, uh, and then that is uh, Blood Brute 1, Blood Brute 2, BB3, lead in, and BB4. And I actually ran out of room for Xerthus, so Xerthus is going to act in the same round as Yutree. Because why not? All right, folks, are you ready for some hell? And uh, let's do it. All right, Uh, as you look out the front, you are going to see this tremendous hell mech. Along its side, however, it is not alone. There are two creatures made of exposed, throbbing flesh with gatling guns attached to one of their arms and long, glowing hell blades attached to the other. With them as well, you are going to see four shock troopers armed to the teeth with rifles, and bayonets. This is going to be a fight to remember. As soon as I size the thing to fit correctly. There we go. Uh, All right, so it is going to be my turn. I have so many books open tonight. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Everybody should have determination. We are all good. Okay. 
Uh, all right, top of the initiative, Akario's turn. Akario looks into the scene. <laughs> Why don't you come out here and play? And uh, is going to fire... Ooh, what's my range on this? Okay, so at the back of the room, Ivy, Zeet, and Claudette are going to step out of their room seeing this, and I need... Uh, I need to know your initiatives, folks. Or probably know your initiatives. I need to know your armor classes. Uh, so, Ivy. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, the first one is aimed at you. Uh, that is a 30 to hit. I think and that's going to hit. I was going to ask if I had... A, I probably wouldn't have had time to attune to my new armor yet, so... Yes, you did, because I do attunement in 10-minute slots. Oh, sweet. Cool. Okay. Still, uh, 30 is going to be a, a 19. Cool. All surprisingly. right. Surprisingly. He raises his he raises his turret and a bolt of magma fires out of it, smashing into you. And let's see what this guy does. Uh, Claudette, that is going to be a twenty-three for you. Yeah, that would hit regardless. Okay, so both of you, uh, that is going to be uh, yeah. I could have rolled way worse on that. That's great. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage on Ivy, uh, and 6 points of fire damage, which will reduce by half because you're a tiefling. Um, Claudette, I need you to make me a deck save. Uh, 21. 21? All right, you're fine. Uh, the magma ball explodes when it hits Ivy, and you are going to leap out of the way as it would have struck you as well. Uh, however, the second one is going to hit you, which means that Ivy and Zeet, both of you are going to have to make me a deck save. Uh, and on Fuck. your, on yours, Claudette, Claudette, you are going to take... Uh, that is going to be uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage. And ten points of fire damage. And what did you get on your on your on your deck save, Ivy? I rolled a two, so that's gonna be a nine. Cool, you're gonna take twelve points of fire damage, which will reduce to six. Okay, I am I'm so close to being out. This is not good. This is not great. This is not great. Oh my god. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so Harry. that was twenty four and ten on Claudette? And ten on Claudette, yeah. All right, and that is going to be the top of that initiative round done. Uh, he is going to just stalk forward a few feet to basically block anyone from leaving, but not from... Actually, you know what? He won't because his guys are big. So these guys should be actually about that size. They're not, they're not that big. There we go. All right, so, uh, Vary, it's your turn. Okay. Um, uh, oh, uh, Kelly, would I be able to get control of the Mac and Roll 20? I just realized I don't have control of it. Well, I didn't know if you were buying the feet. Oh, fair enough. Actually, I have no excuse. Uh, you should be able to. One sec. It's not allowing me to select it. How dare it not allow you? Yeah, seriously, like, what, what's going on, man? I can select... I can select... Oh, you know why? I know why it's doing that. Advanced. Uh, boop. All right, so select both. Go ahead. It's all you. Nice. Okay, perfect. Um, and another quick question for you, Kelly. I've never used anything that's had to... Uh, like an attack that had to have a char uh, recharge before. You, you get one of them, so it's already charged. It means that at oh, the beginning okay. of your round, you roll that dice. If it's a, you roll a d6, if it's a five or a six, you can use it again. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure that it starts charged, basically. Yep. Also, okay, cool. don't worry about the average damage there. You will not be using that. As a player, you're always going to roll. Okay, cool. So the number that says there is like, that's if a d average damage is if a DM wants to run a game in a hurry. They don't Fair have to enough. bother with dice. They just go, okay, he does 20 damage to you. Okay. Um, now, am I using the base hit points for this or rolling the the hit points for it? Uh, you're using the 100 hit points. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. 
with that out of the way, um, she, she's gonna step into the middle. Okay. With with her mech, um, and go. All right, bitch, let's get it on. And she is going to go for the Magitek laser beam. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a line. That's yeah. a line. Okay, what's my um, deck save on this? It is a 17. Uh Oh, that's actually a fail. Yay, that makes me very smile. Wait, happy. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, one, I don't always two, English three, myself. Four, five, six, seven. This initiative sheet is eight, pretty ridiculous. Nine. Ten. I've never rolled this many d10s in my life before. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, here we go. At a certain point, a dice roller is preferable. Yeah, fair. Okay, I'm just going to mute while I calculate this. Watch while she has to use her fingers and toes, everyone. <laughs> yes, I did it on purpose, but I'm glad that you feel touched. Also, she looked away when I gave her the eyebrow for that line. So. I think you're still muted if you're dancing and singing. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just calculating everything. Sounds good. Uh, I, I was just seeing if I add anything to the damage, but I don't. Um, and so that is going to be 42 force damage, please, Kelly. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. I do, though, so... Okay, and um, the best thing about force damage is, do you know what gets resistance or immunity to force damage? Like us. two things in the game. <laughs> force damage is the yeah. best. All right, so uh, plowing the mech forward, you're going to dig in with its toes, clamping into the ground, and... A bolt of light is going to streak across the field, slamming into the front of Akario's mech, uh, scraping the paint job and dealing some damage to it. Um, you are going to hear a roar of anger and who gave the help a mech? Just because I know how to pilot it doesn't mean anyone gave it to me. All right. Well, are you doing anything else with your... So that does take your action to use that? Yes. So uh, do you have any uh, uh, any other actions you like to do? Um, I'm going to take a move, uh, uh, my movement to kind of go back, uh, right out of, you know, so I'm not directly in the middle. Mm. Uh, and that's going to be my whole thing. Um, that sounds good. Yeah. That's going to be my entire action. Okay. And don't forget that your move speed is 40 in that thing. Yes. Okay. All right. Down the initiative. Claudette. Okay. Um, so I am going to move uh, across to kind of behind, across the bay area, I guess, to kind of slightly over here where the mechs and these walls around okay. the mechs are. So moving down to the south, um, the the lower two mech cockpits are open if you wanted to risk it. But, no, I don't uh, want to take a mech. I just want to try and get a little bit of cover. And between every one of the mechs, you can see that there is like a sturdy, um, a sturdy stone wall that acts as kind yes. of like a, a chassis for it. There is also at the bottom, uh, pardon me, at the southern wall, a um, a stairwell that leads up into the rest of the facility. So in theory, can't get that far. Okay, so I'm just saying that I you could song if, if you want, if one. you needed to later. So I pull blades. I start blade song with my bonus action. Move most of my movement down. I'm going to cast a spell. And then move the rest of the way behind that wall. Because I can make it that far from where I was. Okay. Because uh, it's 40 feet. And Blade Song. Um, I am going to cast Vitriolic Spear. Okay. How does that work? Uh, so it's a ranged attack. Um, and everybody in a 20 foot radius will have to make a dex saving throw. Okay. What's the range on it? Uh, 150 feet, baby. And Arcario just moved even closer into it. Oh, everything within how many feet? 20 foot radius, I can hit all of them. Are they all within 20 feet of each other? Uh, from the point of in, um, oh, impact of the sphere. Oh no, oh no, my strategy, my strategy. They're all close enough. 
So I'm going to hit it I right cocky villains. in the middle, right in front of Akario, like right at his feet, basically. Okay. Um, and it is a one foot ball of emerald acid. Okay. And what do I need to do for this? Dex saves. Okay. So one sec. Let me just get enough dice for this. All right. So I'm going to do the, the hell troopers first. Uh, 16 is what you have to meet. Okay. Botch, botch, botch. <laughs> uh, no, two botches. Yes! <laughs> uh, that is impressive. And then a six and a 12. I'm pretty sure. So nobody succeeded then. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Uh, deck save. Would you, what, I need a 16? Nope, 14 yes. is my highest. Okay, let yes. me do it for the, uh, uh, for the, for the meat troopers. Uh, meat troopers are going to succeed though. Okay. And then Arcario, Arcario is going to get Okay, uh, you can roll full on Akario okay. as well. He rolled a five. So the way this works, on a failed save, a creature takes 10d4 acid damage and then 5d4 acid damage at the end of its next turn. Okay. So did you say on a failed save? Yes. On a successful save, the creature takes half the initial damage and no damage at the end of its next turn. At the end of its turn. So for 10d4... I used a roller because I'm not rolling 3d4 enough times to make 10. Uh-huh. Uh, 34. Okay. Is the number. Um, and this is acid? Yes. Okay. One sec. I just got to do some math real quick. You said 34? Yes. Sir. And then that is going to be... And then for the ones that failed... Okay. At the end of their turn, they'll take 16 acid. Okay. Uh, so then Akario is at uh, minus 34, puts him at. Okay. And then one moment while I do my, uh, my Hell Knights. Uh, so the, um, the creature's made of meat. Uh, with their, I mean, most creatures are made of meat, but the creatures that are made of, like, chunks of meat with, like, uh, Gatling guns and, like, flaming swords, I'm going to refer to those as Hell Knights from this point on, uh, okay. and I'm going to refer to the other ones as Hell Troopers. Troopers are smaller than knights, and Akario is his own special thing. Gotcha? Okay. Uh, so, on a success, they still take that much damage, which, huh, would have expected they have more hit points. Okay, sounds good. That the ball of acid is going to launch across the room. It is going to slam into the base of Akario's mech, pluming out into this dome of sizzling goo. Um, two of the Hell Troopers are going to step in to brace, and unfortunately, that's going to be the exact opposite case. Uh, they're going to take double damage as that slams into them, uh, searing them uh, deeply and starting to melt through their armored helmets, revealing that the faces underneath are grinning skulls wrapped in sinew and meat. They seem okay with this. Uh, that was a hell of a hit there. I think you just did like 200 damage combined. Well, I mean, it was one of my level four spell slots. And, uh, yeah, that's dope as hell. Uh, Ivy. Okay, um, so, Chris, you know, Claudette was very, um, Claudette was very, uh, productive. Ivy's gonna do shit all because I have nothing. Um, so, uh, bonus action, I'm gonna take my potion of superior healing because I am at a scary amount of HP right now. Okay. Um, so uh, you want to roll it? I will roll it for you. Superior healing is 16d4, I believe. Is it? Uh, superior is the biggest one possible. I think that's, that, I mean, that sounds right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think 8d8 plus 8. Uh, right? Nope, hold on. Superior. Okay, so potion of superior healing, a uh, supreme healing. It was supreme healing. It was ten d four. Oh, plus okay, twenty. Sweet. Oh, fuck yes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, boop, 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 boop. I'm rolling it for you right now. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna drop that one and that one. Okay, you're gonna take fifty-one hit points of healing. Oh, mama! I am. All right. 
almost almost a full again. That is your bonus action by um, my yeah. by my happy rules. Yes, I love your happy little rules. Um, and then as a um, oh, I measured it. Do 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 do. do. Um, so yeah, thirty-five feet uh, is there, and then yeah. So she's gonna take her move and and attack action to double move. Um, okay. I have no range, so she's gonna um, actually run up to the south onto those like that card or okay, so down to the south, up the Power. stairwells and onto. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's like it's a it's a repair bay so that you can get on top of the of the mechs. So yeah, think, she basically wants a high, basically like a high catwalk. Kind yeah, so basically there, there is a catwalk at the at the at the southern wall that similar functions similarly to like um, basically a catwalk or like the the overhead platform of like a drive through oil change service, like those type of things. Like there's a like this is like the bay is underneath with all the mechs, and then about about fifteen I, feet I'm, in the air. Yeah, I'm picturing like what we have for like tanks at wineries and stuff like that they're they're metal yeah. and tiny but you, that's what Do, i'm thinking like where you can well, have wait, access you have to tanks the, the at next. wineries this sounds way cooler how do you pilot those um with with a lot of with a lot of booze man <laughs> i don't, you, don't okay don't all don't right drinking and driving um <laughs> you're not <condone> drinking <laughs> um, and driving tanks exactly um yeah that's gonna be ivy's turn Ta- she's gonna pop it's your, it's your tnt and your run. tanks and tannins tanks and tannins all right, uh, so that is going to be uh, your turn. Congratulations. All right, then it is going to be Talfrin, which was written as Taltski for some reason. Oh, Taltski. Oh, Good old yeah. Taltski. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's see here. I'm really far away. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is something that I haven't done yet. I'm going to use bolstering magic on myself. <laughs> okay. Um, so what that's going to do is four... 10 minutes. To, okay. What? I was going to ask if you had to be in rage for that. No, I don't. Okay. Um, no, I don't. But it is a full action, which is why I'm never like, meh. Okay. So, um, I can roll a d3 whenever making an attack roll or an ability check and add the number rolled to the d20 roll. Oh, that's great. Okay, cool. So whenever I want. And oh. I will double move up as well. All right, sounds good. So, um, rushing forward, are you entering rage, or just double, just spending your bonus action to move? Just spending it to move at the moment, um, because if I recall correctly, if I don't hit anything, yeah, if you on... hit anything or take damage, yeah. So yeah, exactly. Or okay. if my turn ends and I haven't attacked a hostile creature since my last turn, or now, taken damage, you can't double Yay. move. You can single oh, okay. move. Because, like, double okay. moving is your action. Oh, you're correct. Never mind. I thought I was like, oh, I'm just going to double move instead. But yes, oh, yes, I'll also, single move. Also, I would like to remind everybody that the loading bays for these mechs do have those walls. So it is possible to, like, leapfrog your way up with cover. Yeah, I was actually going to... I was just actually typing that to the Zoom chat yeah. for you, um, but... It is, um, a, it is a 15-foot okay. drop from the platform that you are on, Ivy, which means an acrobatics check. If yeah, I'm wondering if I would technically have any cover from the other. You, like, have, par- the you have partial cover. Yeah. Partial cover. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's what I was has, just going to uh, Talfrin also has partial cover from anything. Uh, Shirthus has zero cover, and thanks to I, thanks to very uh, Zeet has full cover or partial cover, and then everyone else has full cover. Okay. So, um, is there anything yeah. else that you would like to do? I'm just deciding where I want to go. Um, maybe I will. Oh, okay. Only one side has the, has the, has the catwalk thing. It does. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I will. You know what? I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna go up the catwalk as well. Sounds good. However far I can get, I can't do the distance thing. Yeah. Sounds good. And uh, as Robin just reminded in the chat, cover is weird in fifth ed. It's the only thing that really gives you a numerical bonus to AC. Oh. So partial is um, is plus two to your AC, and three quarters cover is plus five. Uh, full cover is disadvantage, or it doesn't work. Period, depending on what is being used against you, um, and that also adds to your uh, deck saves. All right, so uh, Talfer, go ahead and rush down to the catwalk. Okay, I'm not uh, sure it, how it, far it, I can get. Yeah, do your best. I think you can go pretty far, though, because you've got barbarian speed. I have 40. That's 
better than most. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sad about it. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it's Yitri time. Uh, Yitri is going to take one look at this and go. Nope. And is going to use his full movement to hide behind this mech with a reaction prepared. Uh, Shirthus is going to look at this and go, uh, no. Uh, and is going to vanish. He's somewhere. I'm sure he is. Okay. Uh, it is Hell Knight time. Okay. The Hell Knights have a movement speed of... How far am I? Ah, oh, damn. Okay. With incredible alacrity, the Hell Knights are going to race inside, uh, moving 60 feet as they run. They are also going to... Uh, I have to test because of Claudette's damage. Uh, neither of them enters, enters Berserk. Uh, however... Uh, what can I see from this angle? I can see... Ooh, I can see Talfrin pretty well from that angle, and I can see them. You know what? That mech just blasted me. So I'm going to attack the mech for one. So, uh, Mike, uh, Ivy is going to be targeted by a pair of bone shards that are going to fire out of this thing's Gatling cannon. Uh, that is going to be... What's your armor class right now? Uh, it is 18 for the mech. Okay, that is one hit out of two. That could have been way okay. better. I was going to say, you said Ivy. Uh... Did I kind of I kind of figured. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You said Mike and then Ivy, so I was a little bit confused who you were targeting. Pardon, pardon, me, I, pardon me. Ivy, you're taking the damage instead. You're taking the damage for Vary. Um, no. So that is going to be uh, to Vary. My bad. Too many I names. Um, f a few rounds of bone shards. Bone bullets are going to fire out of this Gatling gun. <laughs> Uh, into the side of you, and uh, that is going to deal 1d... really little damage, actually. Uh, that is going to be 7 piercing damage and 7 necrotic damage. And, that, right. and uh, that goes to your mech, unless you are personally targeted, uh, at which case you have 3 quarters cover for the attack, in which case you'd have like an AC of like 23 or something. Perfect, and I get uh, uh, it's half for the piercing because of my damage resistance, correct? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, except my weapons are magical, so they will punch right in. Okay, cool. So, normally yes, normally yes. Uh, so, uh, six and six? That was six and six. Cool. Um, oh, pardon me, no, that was, uh, that was seven and seven. Seven and seven, okay. Okay, uh, and then the other one is going to aim and fire at Talfrin. Talfrin, your armor class is going to be up by two because of the... Uh, oh, wait, you're all the way up there. Sorry, I hadn't moved yet. I was trying to figure out my distance. Um, you can still aim at him. I can move him a little bit forward. Eh, fine, you'll, I'll, you'll have partial cover, so you'll have a plus two AC. Uh, okay. That didn't help at all. All right. Uh, two lengths of bone the size of your hand are going to plunge into the wall behind you as you run up the stairs. Ooh. Okay. Uh, missing you by by a country mile, but uh, it was a it was a good attempt. It really was. It was impressive. <laughs> These guys are tried. way cooler than they than you think they are, uh, and they are going to take. Uh, they succeeded their check, so they do not take the additional damage. Right, Christine? Uh, so it's only the ones who failed. Okay. Save so, will take the damage. Okay. Damage. Uh, it is Zeet's turn. Uh, Zeet is going to move forward, lean around Vary, and fire off uh, three shots. Uh, he is going to use. Uh, he is going to use a grip point for one of these to be um, piercing shot. Uh, that is one hit, two hits, three hits. Okay. Why can't I ever roll this well when I'm me? All right, raising his gun, he's going to fire, and that is going to be one, two, three, roll. Uh, that is going to be 21 uh, plus. 
Okay, it's going to be 52 points of damage from those three shots uh, to the northward one there. Oh, damn. Uh, that thing is going to be is going to be plunged down bel well below bloodied as three rounds are going to slam into its bloody chassis that is being held together by these grinding cogs that continuously look like someone shoved their hand into a meat grinder. Bits of sinew are going to go through like bike uh, like a bike chain being wrapped around over and over tearing and splunging and then it's hit by bullets. You can say that this is not the type of night that it goes home, that you take home to your mom. Uh, but, you know, that's what Akario is for. Uh, and then Z's going to spend the rest of his movement to duck back behind the mech suit to get, to get three quarters cover. Uh, and then it is time for my, my little night boys. I'm so proud of you. Um, and what's my movement speed? Oh. They were expecting you to come out, I think. Ha! <laughs> Okay. Chokes on them. Right? We're gonna die inside where it's warm and toasty. Exactly. That's the plan. Our cardio always was a little delusional. Okay, they Don't are... Don't worry, guys. I have the high ground. Uh, they're gonna rush forward taking a double move action to do that, and... Uh... And I can do that as a bonus action, you say. Okay. I don't like the sounds of that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what is going to happen then is that one moment, please. All right. Two of them are going to rush forward, flanking one of the Hell Knights, opening a a a funnel in the center of their chest, peeling a scabby, uh, a scabby door away. They're going to fire this pussy, pussy yellow grease onto the ground. Uh, please let me know if you step on that area, even if you're in a mech. Because it begins to shine and cling to the ground with a supernatural viscosity. You were explaining about the yellow pussy just as I was taking a sip of water. And I'm that's like, not mm -hmm. my, that, that sounds like a you problem. Mm -hmm. It's a definitely a me problem, but it was Okay, like, hmm. and that is an additional 16 points of damage. Uh, wow. Well, when they all get messed up, um, the two that have ran out in front and have fired the grease traps ahead uh, look to be pretty good, but you can see that the ones behind them have definitely been bloodied by their encounter with the, with the acid. And uh, it is starting to eat away parts of what remains of their flesh and bone. Uh, and we are at Leiden. Hi. Wow. That's fun. Um, so I'm trying to see, figure out exactly how far away these things, the closest ones are to me. Sure. Um, okay, so they're like... Okay, so I think the closest one's about 75. Five slash eighty feet, kind of. Uh, yeah. is what I'm seeing, or I'd say about seventy feet for the for the southern 70? one. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward about I think probably my full move. Okay, actually not quite. It's gonna be I'm gonna move forward about like twenty five feet I think, um, so that I'm kind of on the edge of one of these mechs in one of these bays. Okay, so um, moving along, you're going to duck next to the mech on the southern bay. Yeah, and I'm just making sure I can still reach. Ah, yes, I can. And then I'm going to cast Sacred Flame Okay. on, which I believe is one of my cantrips, which I believe I also... So I need a Dexterity Saving Throw of DC 17. Okay. Uh, that's a fail. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. And they get no benefit of cover for the saving throw. I love this spell. Great. Okay. Um, so that, that plus. Um, it should be 17 
Raid. Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, 17 radiant damage. All right. Yep. Um, and then, so that was a cantrip. I should be able to cast a spell as a bonus action that's higher level, I believe. Because that was a cantrip. Yeah, you should be able to. So I would like to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. If any creature tries to, any hostile creatures try to target me with an attack or harmful spell, they need to succeed a DC 17 saving throw. Okay. Yeah. If they, they can, if they fail to save, they can choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. Um, does not protect me from warded or from like area effects like explosions or of a fireball, but it mm. doesn't mean they can't target me as easily. All right. Mm. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, that's my turn. All right. So now we're at the top of the new initiative. Oh, that means that. Okay. So that means at the end of Akario's turn, he'll take that extra damage. I'm just going to apply it now to save time. Jesus. Um, okay. Uh, Akario is going to recalibrate part of his mech. Okay. Uh, and is going to roar in frustration, punch on his overdrive. And one sec. Okay, that's not good, and that's hilarious. Uh, he is going to punch into overdrive, moving a full uh, 60 feet forward, pushing through several of his minions. Uh, as he does, the, um, the trooper at the back, he is actually going to plow completely through, uh, knocking that one prone, uh, and dealing 20 points of damage to him as he pushes through, uh, ending up right here, uh, as he does, he's just going to roar in frustration. Launch forward. Listen here, you motherfuckers. Do you know who I am? And is going to slam his fists into the ground. And I need everyone within 60 feet Ooh, to okay. make me a DC 18 deck save. Ah! Cool. Uh, I forgot on my first deck save that I had taken a potion of deafness um, or yeah, so De I get deftness? advantage on my decks. Def deftness. Deftness. Mm, deftness. 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 Okay, that was a DC 18 decks. DC 18 decks. I'm I telling you that. that is just okay. very light on her feet. I yeah. failed. I actually oh. got an 18. I got a get 19. No okay. Oh, I can't be saved. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. Uh, I'm one. so happy. You got a 13? I, no, I got a 19. I rolled a 19, and I add yeah. zero to it in the mech. Okay, here we go. All right, it. if you... Holy shit. Uh, if you failed, you take... Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. I rolled D10s instead of D8s. That makes a big difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's do it. Uh, if you failed the roll, take 42 points of bludgeoning damage and are knocked prone. Uh, if you succeeded, you're going to take 21 points of bludgeoning damage, uh, which is general, not I'm magical. Sorry. So that will reduce by half if you are raging or otherwise uh, resistant. Um, he is going to slam his fist into the ground and a fissure is going to begin to open in the center of the floor here and start bubbling over with magma. I like him. I like him a lot. He's just an anime character, and I love it. And so hold on, I'm just gonna... Okay, cool. Crack in the floor. That's it, It's bigger, but that's what it goes. Uh, and that is going to be... Uh, that is going to be his... turn. Yeah. Oh my god. I really... Please hit him with fire, somebody. Please do it. I'll give you inspiration. Uh, very. Okay. I'm gonna roll to... Roll me a d6. If, d roll my d6. Oh, and also, Kelly, um, while not useful for right now, is the offer on the table or not on the table? The offer is open. Okay, cool. I, I didn't recharge. 
Yeah, um, it, it, it does when you need it, usually. Okay, cool. So I did not get a recharge on that. Um, huh? Okay. That's a and that's a big crack in the floor. You uh, you you had just said right. It's more for it's more for aesthetics than anything at this round. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna take the mech, and I'm gonna go over here. Uh, I'm trying to avoid the um, the yellow okay. puddles of death. Yeah, he's, his, uh, feet are, am, his feet are to the south of it, so. Perfect, and I am going to uh, do some attacks. I'm going to do a multi-attack on this thing. All right, let's make your mech uh, Oh, okay, cool. There we go. There we go. All right, so I'm directly in front of him now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to multi-attack, so that's the two slams and the stomp. Okay. Uh, well, you so can only do I... the stomp if he's prone. Oh, really? Yeah, it says in the, it says in the rule. Oh, it does say on uh, one. But you're prone, not used to having a stomp creature. attack. Okay. I, I'm not. I've very rarely had multi-attack except with bows. So, okay, here we go. Here's two attacks then. Uh, that's going to be a. 27 and a 23 to hit. Okay, those are going to hit. Thank God for small miracles. Um, you say that now, but it's about to be my turn. No, it's not. I already went. Crap. Alright, and here are the damages. Okay. Uh, All right, what do we get? Uh, plus, and I add seven to that, which makes this... Uh, that's going to be 43 points of damage. Okay, and those are magical attacks. And those are magical attacks, and yeah, he's not... He doesn't need to give me a deck save, because he's a huge contract. Yep, I, that's specifically um, written to the rules that mechs... I have a, yes. They have to actually do maneuvers to knock each other over. Yeah, fair enough. Um, that would be like a grapple. Yeah. Which is just hilarious. Um, and I think that is all that I can do. Oh, as a bonus action, I'm going to tell Crux to come in and engage uh, to fly over wee, 30 feet away um, mm -hmm. from this northmost uh, Hell Trooper, mm -hmm. where he can still get some decent cover. Okay. And then he is going to make a force attack. All right. So, from that, my AC would be... Okay, what do you got? Is it, is your AC 18? It is exactly 18, actually. Okay, so this does not hit, then. It does not... Well, no, if you roll, if you meter beat... Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, I mean, no. Ha! Sorry, my brain is all over the place tonight, apparently. Uh, with my 1d4 worth of damage. 1d4 plus that is going to be 7 points of damage force damage magical force damage actually okay um he's holding on he's, i would have loved it would have been hilarious if a bunny had it's still it. it is still hilarious uh so crux is going to fly overhead and hit him with a force damage the hell trooper is actually going to go down on a knee and have to like <laughs> like bits of like slime and ooze are dripping off of his jawbone onto the ground he's you're right fucking rubber yeah, and, and and Crux is uh, gonna be staying behind uh, as much cover as he can there because okay. that is a ranged attack so fair all right Claudette you're up okay um so he just did something with magma he just stomped a hole in the ground and summoned like a lava flow all right well I'm a little worried now that fire is not gonna hurt him. I, I would encourage you to hit him with fire. Please. Please. I'm really worried by you saying that. It's fine. I wouldn't lie to you in the middle of a fight with my, my favorite villain. I would lie to you in the middle of a fight with her favorite yeah, villain. Yeah, your tone of voice is saying that right now. I mean, so is, yep. you know, my normal voice is saying it too. So what would you like to do? Um, well, how badly did the acid seem to do to him? Decent, not full. 
Okay. It looked like it definitely pissed him off, though. I wonder if lightning would hurt him. Is there any determination I can kind of make to guess? Uh, most, I will, I will spend a something good happens to let you know that most mechs have, uh, have lightning issues. I was going to say, didn't we know that in the first fight with mechs that they kind yeah. of like overheated and overpowered and... They, 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 ba they basically have, uh, they have surge protection problems. Now his mech is better than most... So it might actually. I don't have... really remember if we actually hit them with lightning in that last. Uh, Talfrin hit I... one of them with something, I think, or Ivy okay. did. Ivy did. And Ivy, the... Ivy does because my sword does. My sword, my my crimson right is lightning damage, so I That's figured fair. that one out. Mm -hmm. Also, thank okay. you for the. Well, I don't know that Claudette did though, because remember she was being hustled out the back of the room. I just figured she would know Mex because she's a Imperial Magus, right? Uh, I think you know that lightning can be a problem for at least the ground level okay. ones. Um. Well, I'm gonna upcast chromatic orb then at third level and throw it at him. All right, sounds good. With lightning damage. Okay, make me an attack. Fuck yes. All right, what? Nat 20, oh, baby. Oh, get banned. No. Nope. Right, what'd you get? Let's roll your, your mech's gonna get banned. No, I just polished the fender. <laughs> okay, one sec. So I can really I've picture Arcario like polishing this mech in a tank top and like booty shorts. One sec, I need a couple more D8s. Before he goes and plays volleyball in slow motion with the Hell Troopers. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. I just love to hate this guy so oh, much. Oh, he's so easy to hate. <laughs> he's so easy to love and hate. Right? You know what my oh, favorite oh my, my favorite thing about this is something that there you haven't is. realized yet. Just think about what... Keep your secrets. Asshole. What, well, what happens if you kill him here? Nothing. Ooh, it's, oh, a God, yeah, right. Alive, right. it's a freebie. It's a freebie. It's a freebie. Still, we have to we have to beat him to get past so, him. So, so. it feels so nice. You have to kill him twice. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone's favorite thing. Oh, I did realize that, but it was like, mm, this is right. what I we didn't have to think do. of it. Mm. All right, what'd you get, Christine? One sec, I have to roll oh, it twice. Ah. I'm just waiting for the evil smile. No, I'm waiting for Kelly to do his thing where he like goes, he takes off his glasses and puts his hand on his forehead and does the <sighs> 63. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 63. God. That made me break a 10 space. I hate that. Okay. Uh, 5d8 doubled. Uh, you are Fuck. going to uh, lean around the corner and hurl a chromatic orb that is going to strike uh, deeply against your cousin's chest, covering him with, with rolling lightning. And he's going to roar, uh, which is actually going to start crackling over his speaker. Just rock. <laughs> Uh, he is very angry. Uh, it doesn't look like that was, uh, super vulnerable, but it doesn't look like he had resistance to that. So that hurt. Uh, he, his mech is definitely bloodied now. Good job, Claudette. Are you doing anything else with your action? Uh, you know what? I think she's going to maybe move back a little bit. So she's not quite where he th thinks she is. Okay. Uh, question, do these stairs over here come up above these rock walls that are in the bays? Uh, these stairs, uh, yes, they do. Okay. Uh, she's just going to keep staying back to the bottom of this bay right behind the rock wall. Okay. So she's at least 15 feet from where he thinks she is. Sounds good. Um, and... Uh, him taking that hit is going to actually trigger Yitri's reaction, which is to blast the first thing that gets hit within his line of sight. Uh, so he's going to use beam attack and is going to deal 14 points of damage as a laser fires out of the carbuncle's head and strikes into the side of Akario's mech, dealing even more damage because teamwork makes the dream work. All right, Ivy, you're up. 
Perfect. Okay, so now the Ivy is um is up. She's gonna run kind of to the this like end of this like platform in a bay. All right. So the middle platform where you would normally load into the top of a top loading uh, Magitek suit. Yeah. Um. And she's going to um. She's gonna she's gonna fire two shots with her crossbow at him. Um, okay. And ignite her crimson right on the crossbow. Crimson wrong. Crimson wrong. Uh, she's gonna ignite it with lightning damage. Um, okay. Not. Ooh, only two points for me. I love it when I roll low for myself. Um. And yeah, she's gonna make two uh, attacks at Mr. Arcario over there. All right, bring it. So you, he does not have any cover bonus from where he is right now? Perfect. Um, the lowest one that I got is a, a 25 to hit. Okay, those are going to be two hits. Perfect. All right, so I'm assuming you need the damage separately from lightning and regular piercing uh, damage. Is it magical piercing? No, it's just regular. Yeah, then I need them separate. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I rolled high on my lightning damage i roll so it's gonna be a total of 12 points of piercing damage from the crossbow okay. and it's gonna be um 13 points yeah i did the math right 13 points of lightning damage to him jeez Wait. good hit all right two of your bolts are going to slam into the side of the chassis of of the hell mech and you're going to hear once be able to oh sorry you're going to hear basically him yelling through the speaker again. It's more of like a hollow scream because his speaker system is like short circuiting from mm. the lightning between you and Claudette's hits. Uh, but would you be able to? I was wondering, I have 10 more feet of movement. Would any way that she'd move backwards give her any sort of cover or no? Uh, from where you are right now? Um, yeah. n- not... Mm, if you... If I you, was wondering if, if like the, the, the structures... Feet- of the bay were any like, the structure of the bay are cover? technically beneath beneath okay yeah that's uh, fine so well, she's like, just she's it's fine you, I'm you, just you'll get asking. like you'll get partial if you go okay. over there they're a little bit above okay cool so yeah sure. she will move uh kind of step back after doing that i'm right. still wanting to be in line of sight with a few people because uh, i have my lovely reaction okay so if anything goes to zero uh talfrin or tatsky hello tatsky I think that was a different one. Oh, Talski sorry. Tal- or Talski is anyway. Talski. <laughs> Talski's for Bleach. Anyway, um, okay. So Talfrin's going to start rushing up the catwalk. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And I can get to about here, um, which is just behind Ivy. Um, but what I'm curious about is from where I am up top, can I see the bloodied mech at the very bottom? At, I mean, at the very back of the troop? Yes, you may. From where you cool. are, you can see the entire where battlefield stretch before you uh, as you right. rush d- rush across the catwalk behind Ivy. Yep. That's that's as far as I can get. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is rage, please. I, I would like you to rage. Awesome. Um, All right. right. But, oops, that's the wrong one. ba We got a 17. Dragon. dragon. <laughs> oh, that's God. not dragon number. It's not a dragon number. All right. Uh, Entering your wild magic rage, you summon all manner of PDF issues. One second. Uh, You said (laughs) 17? Yep. I put it in the chat. Okay. So we're not going to use that one unless the other one sucks. Hold on. Okay. Wow. You're really glad that you didn't roll 18. Excellent. Uh, no, I don't like that one. Okay. So we're going to use the other one. This is why I use a D200 chart. It's way better. Uh, roll me a D4. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, as you rush forward, uh, you are going Sorry. to suddenly burst into light. Uh, okay. You are the the focal point of a daylight spell. Okay. As you start glowing like the sun is behind you, just 
you are a right target. behind Ivy. Yeah, yeah, Ivy's just like gonna turn around and go like. Oh yeah, that's that's okay. You know what? The camera's gonna pan back, and we're going to see with Ivy's tail and horns. It basically looks like the Batman <laughs> logo for a second. <laughs> and then she's gonna Perfect. be like, really, really, Talbert. Sorry. Really. Okay. Sorry. Um. Okay, I'll... and then from my position, I'd like to hurl a javelin because that's sure. Who are you hurling at? What I can do. Um, at the bloodied mech at the very back of the troop. That sounds good. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, he is... I'm going to reroll Blucky. Sounds good. Uh, he's prone, but he's big enough That's a bit that better. I'm not going to give you disadvantage. Oh, okay. Fair. Thank you. Um, he's, he's pretty. That's like... perfect. Oh my God. I got 18 to hit. So there you go. That is how much daylight is flooding out of you. Oh, dear. <laughs> It is a 500-foot oh daylight spell. Hello. Uh, let me just refresh myself on daylight real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Did you change something? Uh, e oh, it might be only me that's able to see it. The entire screen <laughs> is yellow for me. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the entire screen is yellow for me, too. Light shines. If Yeah, so darkness just does not... Okay, cool. It doesn't do anything else. It just means that everything is bright. Right on. Um, that's um, that's an eighteen to hit. An eighteen to hit is going to hit this dude. I'm gonna hit, hit throw two javelins at him. I All can right, do, do that. it. Yeah, and that's gonna be a twenty-five to hit. Nice. 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 Uh, let me just see here. So roll my normal. Uh, that I'm is gonna, gonna turn be yellow down a notch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm going to be 20 points of piercing damage 20 points of piercing damage uh, yep there we go uh okay uh, i'm gonna make you an offer <laughs> I mean... how would you like that to be a perfect shot yes all right sounds good uh hurling your javelins with alacrity you're going to hurl the first one it's going to slam into this thing's chest uh as it is on the ground it's going to struggle to its knees and at that you are going to glow with the holy light of the sun hurl your second javelin with such force that it actually splits the first one riding the center <laughs> of its uh of its haft directly in to this thing's chest plunging out the back and with a gurgle it is going to fall forward dead nice all right that is That's gonna be the right. end of your, of your turn now it's hell night o'clock let's do it all right ooh. okay uh ooh, it's my turn now folks i love it when it's my turn uh we had our fun and now it's time to die and now we get the forever box Dude, it's time for the forever box. Okay, so... I cannot move through that square, so that means... Oh, we're going to see if this is a dumb idea. Uh, that is... DC... Okay. All right, the Hell Knight at the top is going to rush through, succeeding its check to not slip on the grease splatter, uh, and is going to rush next to Vary, and is going to do its best. Uh, it's time to make some claw attacks. Well, Can't sword do attacks. It. Uh, okay, Vary, uh, you just suffered a critical hit. Um, ah! No, no, she doesn't. Okay, done. 30 feet from me. Ah! Perfect. All right. Uh, so that is, uh, these are magical weapons at least. So that is going to be, uh, okay. The first one is going to be 11 points of slashing damage, followed okay. by seven points of necrotic damage. The next is going to be five points of slashing damage and five points of necrotic damage. Uh, all of that is going to go through. Um... But honestly, that that was like, what, 27 points of damage, something like that? Something like that. Something like that, okay. So that is that Hell Knight. Uh, is rushing forward, it starts cutting into you. Uh, the next is going to look back at its dead compatriot, take a five-foot step back, r and is going to raise its arm and fire two bolts at the glowing guy. Uh, actually, he's going to fire them at Ivy, because Ivy's in front. 
But I have my shades. <laughs> you do have your shades. Uh, okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be two misses actually, as two Sweet. bone shards are going to fly past you. But looking into the sun is uh, not great. Cool. And Talfrin is the sun. Yep. Okay, uh, that is going to be Talfrin. Uh, Z doesn't have cover anymore, uh, so he is going to. Uh, back into this doorway and fire two shots into North Hell Knight. Uh, that's a 29, and that's a... Still a hit. These things don't have very high AC because they're designed to go crazy. Um, okay, boop, 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 boop. That is going to be... If I can find my dice. Eh, could be better. Uh, it's going to be another 20 points to Hell Knight. Oh! Okay. Uh, the Northern Hell Knight is going to start tearing into Vary. Um, this is the one that was was blasted by Crux. Uh, and as he tears into you, Zed is just going to put two bullets in the back of his head. And that's going to be that. He's, he, he can't handle. He can't handle that. He's having a bad day. But that's he, okay. He's having a bad day. All right, now it's time for my troopers. Oh, they're such troopers. Um, troopers are going to... Oh, that's so that's so dope. Uh, what's their jump? Their strength? Okay. Let's make an acrobatics check. Actually, an athletics check. Perfect. All right. Uh, Southern Hell Trooper is going to leap 20 feet into the air, landing on the catwalk structure is going to turn toward Talfrin and Ivy and open the compartment in its chest again. And I need both of you to make me a dexterity save. Uh, and let's spend a hurt them can more. I... Do, it, do it with disadvantage. But this is something I can see, right? This is something you can see. So can I roll cool. flat? Cool, so I'll roll flat as well. Yeah, you will roll flat. Perfect. 21. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm dexterous Next as fuck. 20. Are you kidding? Yeah, 23. No, I'm Alfred. serious. Yeah. Okay. We're both so dexterous tonight. We okay. got this. So you, you two are going to take half damage, uh, except like for Talfrin, who's going to take who's gonna take none because we're using our alternate epic rules. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that means if you so botch like, a save, that, you're in trouble. But is that piercing or slashing? Uh, Ivy, you're going to take 24, turns into 12. <laughs> points okay. of fire damage which turns into six points of fire damage oh i love it i love it um I love as it. a huge like 30 foot jet of flame shoots out of this thing's chest uh and does very little to you apparently and is apparently. he seems a little bummed about this i'm not gonna lie she's gonna like like come off this beautiful like tuck and roll thing and like land on the ground with like you know you do like the kind of like that superhero mm -hmm. landing where she's like with like kneeling crouching and she's gonna look at him and glare and like bare her teeth at him being like you're next um <laughs> as that happens the one that dropped to its knees in the back that talfrin skewered is going to start vibrating and is going to explode in a 30 foot fireball that ev that its companions just stepped outside of the range of oh. just which one is that uh, the one that was at the back of the room over here that talfrin uh, nuked okay uh, apparently these things are flammable Hmm. Yeah, all right, right. The, all right. The one at the top is going to move 30 feet across its grease, which thankfully it has special shoes for. Uh, and you know what? <laughs> let's uh, let's have some fun with Vary. All right. Yay! You're finally a meat shield, Vary. I, it's your it's your favorite. Ha! Okay. Don't hit me. Uh, Okay, I've got a 21 and a 19, or pardon me, a 22 and a 21 to hit you. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they both hit the first time. And a 27 and a 17. 17 misses. Okay, that's gonna be, <laughs> okay, so these are, are these magical? These are not magical, but still, it's pretty good. Um, this one, two, two, two. These are the, the pick arms, so that is math. Okay. Okay, so seven five thirteen. Uh that's gonna be 
25. Okay, uh, these things are going to start wailing on you, trying to peel the armor apart. Uh, that is going to be 25 plus... Uh, it's going to be 40 points of piercing damage, which will have down to 20. Okay. You bloodied yet? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be those boys. Uh, Leiden, it's your turn. Yeah. This is rough. Um... I'm, how, how injured are the folks, are my party members? Like, is anyone really, really, really badly beat up? Um, no? Yeah. Kind I mean, Vary's getting beat up, but I can't see her. She yeah, seems, you, you, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. you just saved her bacon with that anti, uh. It's true. Yeah. That anti, okay. uh, anti-problem thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think what I want to do is cast, you know what, you know what, um, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on Vary. um, give, give her an additional plus two ace to her AC. Now is, uh, would that be for the mech, Kelly? Because if it doesn't work for her. If it doesn't work for the mech, then I don't know if I would bother. Hmm. The mech counts as a creature construct for purposes. You could give it to the mech. That means a targeted shot to vary would not have the bonus. Yeah, but the mech is what's being hit the most right now. So. I, think yes. I think that's fine. So I was going to do it to, for the mech. I think so that's fine. That's my, that is my bonus action. Um, okay. And then I'm going to move. Um, I want to keep... Yeah. I'm going to move forward, and then I'm going to still keeping one of these walls kind of off to the side, just for, you know, hypothetical cover, I think. Sounds good. Um, And then here's my question. Mm. Channel Divinity is is one of my, is an action. Yes. It's not a spell. It's not an attack action. So Mm. for purposes of the Sanctuary spell on to on me, which is not concentration, it just lasts for a minute. Mm. I have, if a warded creature makes an attack or casts a spell that affects an enemy creature, the spell ends. Hypothetically, I could use my channel divinity to curse um, Akario, possibly, with my, um, I think, because he's in 30 feet of me. So it specifically says... As an action, choose one creature you can see within 30 feet, cursing it until the end of your turn. The next time you or an ally of yours hits the cursed creature with an attack, the creature has vulnerability to all that attack's damage, and then the curse ends. Hmm. So, it's my channel divinity. It's not a spell. It's not an attack. And I'm not causing any it. damage. Okay, I'll, allow, so I'll that would something be... good happens to make sure that it's good. Yeah, so that's go. my... I round it up. That is my action, and then a bonus okay. action is the, uh, the shield for All right, Barry. sounds good. All right, new round, my friends. Oh, it is me. Uh, so, <clears throat> remember when I said that lava was boiling out of the floor? Cool. Akario is going to step his mech into it. Ah. And as he does, you're going to see the already red hue begin to glow with magma and like begin to light up with infernal light as you just hear... <laughs> Overdrive, motherfuckers! And uh, he is going to come out and slam his foot into the ground. Uh, a fissure opens up, the lances down across the the lower wall that is 60 feet wide, long, 10 feet wide. And uh, let us see, that is going to be uh, 12 feet deep minimum. Uh, everyone along the southern wall, uh, including the max. Uh, from where they're standing, basically here along this structure, everything is going to collapse. I need a deck save from Claudette, Ivy, Talfren, uh, both of those mechs that are stationary, and the the Death Trooper that is right there, or Hell Trooper. Uh, so, so am I Leiden out of range then? Leiden is just out of range. <laughs> Uh, right, I'd like to use my bullstring magic. <laughs> okay. 
Oh shit. Uh, let's see here. Is this a new round? This is a brand new round, yeah. Okay, perfect, cool. Can I use my bolstering magic and my determination? Yeah. Nice, okay, let's see here then. Yeah, I'm also gonna use my determination uh, to yeah. be 19. It seems pretty good. All right, so two plus my determination. Okay. Determination. I think it's just, I think it's 16. Okay. Yeah. 16? I'm gonna go with 16. Okay. I don't think that's quite right. Uh, that's what did you get, Claudette? Uh, deck save? Uh, yes. 19. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. And, all right, so basically, uh, what did you get? So, Talfrin, you got a... Uh, just a 16. I'm not okay. sure that's going to make it. Uh, Ivy, you got a... A 19. Okay. Uh, so here's what is going to happen. He is going to stomp, and a tremendous fissure is going to open along the southern wall. Uh, that is going to be... Let me just grab... No, I want darker. Darker. <laughs> that's pink. <laughs> That's not darker. It's now weird. who's Diva? <laughs> you. Akario. Ah. Akario is a little bit Diva. It's yeah. still me. Oh gosh. <laughs> he is a Diva, but I am Diva. <laughs> okay, so that is going to. Okay, open along here. That's about ten feet. Actually, it's ten feet wide, so that would be even even wider, so pardon me one moment. Well, I well, I just spend some time drawing, because... Okay. No, goddammit, stop becoming pink. Okay, so that's going to open basically there. I'm in a pit of darkness. Hey, at least there's sunlight. All right. Exactly, so, it's true. Uh, here is what is going to happen. Uh, Ivy, the entire upper structure is going to collapse. Uh, you are going to be shunted down to the ground. Oh, shit, Yitri has to make the check, too. Uh, Yitri is going to fail. Uh, Yitri is going to fall into the hole because he is within range of it by just a tiny bit. Actually, no, he's not. He's just outside of it. Uh, th the bottom two mechs are going to collapse into the hole as well being completely consumed by the structure. Uh, and Claudette, you're going to be ridden out of the hole. The uh, the Hell Trooper is going to be able to ride it out and leap down there as the northern structure collapses. Talfrin, however, you are going to collapse and fall into the hole. Uh, let's see. Fair enough. Or fall in. What happens in the hole, though? Would there have been any way Ivy could have used a reaction to try and help Talfrin or no? No. Okay. Uh, all right, so Talfrin, you are going to fall into the hole. Basically, you're going to be down here and knocked prone. And, uh, okay. all right, the mech does not fall on you. That is the best news. Oh, that's good. Cool. That's nice. So that was Do my hurt. Do I take any damage? Uh, you are going to take from that. Ooh, there's some magma down here. So why don't we go ahead? Uh, you're going to take seven points of bludgeoning damage, which will reduce to three. Bludgeoning damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, and there's not enough. There's not really lava down here at the moment. There will be though. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, so and uh, time for my action now, because uh, wait, what? Is, <laughs> that was a hurt the more, baby. Uh, ah! All right. So what does the curse do to me, uh, Leiden? So it's next time that one of my allies hits Akario, mm. um, the cursed creature Akario um, will ta is vulnerable to all of the attack's damage, and then the curse ends. Okay. So, if go. it has any resistances. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, he is going to step out of the hole, and is going to just start unloading on uh, on Very. Very, what's your I mean, armor class? That sounds like a reasonable thing. Okay, sounds uh, good. 20. 20, 22, two? Okay. Uh, 30, and 13. That hits. Uh, one of those misses. Uh, I'm going to spend a hurt them more. Ah! 25. That hits. Okay. Uh, That's what, three, three hits? Three hits. 
I'm I, I'm assuming you can tell me what happens to the Mac. Uh, I basically can. One sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so uh, very. Uh, let's. One sec. Boop boop boop. That's better. I'm gonna reroll that. Cool. Not cocked anymore. Okay. Uh, he is going to just start glowing with magma and is going to start screaming so loud you can hear it without the speaker system. And it's going to start ripping into your mech with punch after punch after punch from this thing. Uh, his attacks are magical. Uh, he's not on fire, at least, so that's probably for the best. He, he normally... Oh. Actually, he is on fire. My bad. At this point, he is. So that is going to be... Okay, so let's do this separately. Uh, so... Six. Let's see if Vary goes down, too. Okay, so you are go. Uh, your mech is going to take... Ninety-four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, hold up just one second here. Just... There's still one more mech. I'm just gonna let that let that be known. Okay, I I just need to calculate some hit points real quick. Sounds good. Was there more damage to go with, with that too? Uh, actually, for you there, there is not. Okay. So. Um, okay. If, any creature that touches him while he's on fire does, but you are not touching him. You are in a pilot seat, so I'm going to exclude you from the additional uh, 28 points of fire damage. Okay, so uh, as that happens, uh, oh, does the mech like explode or something, Kelly? No, it doesn't explode. It just powers down. Like it's. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it is. So, how much damage over go goes over through you? Um, 73. Holy shit! You were down to ten. Are you still up? Uh oh, god no! I was down to twenty-one on the on the mech. Reaction: Take another attack at Acario. Can can she if she's unconscious? What if a creature hits zero points? I can use my blood hunter. It's oh. my blood hunter curse. The blood mad maledict, like what I did for Leiden. Mm. Okay, fun. I'll let you. I'll now, let you make one more attack with the mech. So fun. Okay, sounds good. Yes. It's yes. technically a creature, the way I wrote it. So. Oh, true. Okay. Now, so yeah. With with that, would I roll to see if my thing recharges? No, that is at the beginning of your turn. Okay, cool. Uh, so just a single uh, one punch attack, right? Just one punch. One punch. Here we go. Punch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, does a twenty? Yep. Uh, not a not a nat twenty, but a tw twenty. A twenty. It's over twenty. A twenty hits. Okay. All right. I'm really happy about that. Um, because you are going to take my friend, um, Aww. you, you, you are going to take three D eight plus seven worth of damage. Nice. Also, uh, make it plus 10. Cause I'm going to amplify the curse on myself. So you can add plus three to that. Can you, roll. can you do that as a reaction as well? Oh, only... I, I did. I did it. Like when I, I meant to say that I was amplifying it. All or right. you can not let it. No, it, I'm spending your last not. something good happens. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what's my total bonus on that, Robin? Pl just plus well, 10? Plus 10 plus, flat. plus 3. Well, plus 10? Yeah, well, yeah, you rolled. It, it, it's a plus 3, so when you said add plus 7, I'm like, make it plus 10. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So oh, it's 3d8 th okay. three, three okay. plus 10. 3d8 plus 10, so that's going to be uh, 17. Uh, not 17. Uh, 7, that's 11. Um, 16. Uh, 26 points worth of bludgeon please kelly perfect yeah. okay. and with he's that does, does with, with that oh and he's does, vulnerable to all of that you're right yes yeah so hold on so that was how much uh that was 26 oh Okay, sounds good to me. Um, all right, so he is going to start just slamming his his mech's fists into your into your mech's like just chassis again, and it, the first hit is enough that it crumples inward, and you feel like you feel the cockpit start to wrap around your rib cage from that first hit. 
blood is starting to like well up on your lips and the second hit is going to completely co collapse your 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 um your mech's hip gyro stabilizer meaning you're going to start tumbling backwards but he's still hitting he grabs you uh he grabs your mech by the side and slams his mech's head into it just over and over just bludgeoning this thing and with the last ounce of strength as you feel your cockpit begin to splinter and collapse down onto you uh you are going to hit him with a side hit that's going to punch right into the side of this mech and as it does um there's going to be it, it is a tremendous hit and then your mech's arm melts to slag from the impact, and everything is going to go dark. But that was a very is down. Hit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay, and that triggers my reaction. Uh, everyone in the room regenerate 30 hit points. What? Really? Everyone? <laughs> oh, that's uh, every, nice. every, everyone that I like. Yeah. Cool. You oh, can't prove you. that I did anything. I'm invisible. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. I am. One might say I am I greater like invisible. <laughs> ah. I like them ah. very much. I like them too. Uh, so very. You're going to like. You're going to wake up in a slag heap, like you don't remember hitting the ground. Okay, I'm going to yeet out of this mech. Uh, it's uh, not your turn. I... Oh, is, is it still his turn? It's still my turn. What? Yeah, those how are my attacks. Still your turn. I still have bonus actions, bro. Assist, bro. Whatever. Bro, general, general, bro. Uh. Oh wait, I don't think I have any bonus actions. <laughs> oh, you know what? He's gonna pull part of your mech's fist out of his mech's rib cage, with like. Wiki 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 wiki. <laughs> And it's going to pop it out and just... <sighs> okay, now you may move. Okay. Um, I want to get to this other mech. But there's stuff in between me and it. Fam? Um, and that's what's not going to happen. Score? Yeah, let's say, what's your wisdom score? Because we've been in yeah. this situation before. <laughs> yeah, we, we learned that last time. That's a bad move. Um, although I'm within the reach of all three of these things, aren't I? You are. Uh, that that sounds like a disengage action to me, but I'm not going to tell you how that, to. That, how to that run exactly your life. sounds like a disengage action. Um, a dis a disengage and a yeet right on out of there. Sounds um, good. All right, so I can move what 25 feet because I'm a halfling. I think you can uh, just make it to its feet. To the to the mech feet. I think so. This map's. I, I don't remember the scale. I. Th yeah, you can make it. You can make it just to it. You got to climb up into it. So that's. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and kind of get uh, ready to do that. Okay. And uh, you can still use crux as a bonus action or use your gun. Uh, oh, I can use my gun. Okay. Um, oh wait, no, you can't because you just spent your action disengaging. Oh yeah. yeah. But you can. Um, you can send crux after people. Um, or he is but a bonus action. He is but a bonus action. Um, and you know what? I'm going to send him after Akario. Psh, psh. Uh, Amy, is it just that first attack that has vulnerability? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. probably for the best. Okay, so he's going to move into a uh, 30 foot range. That's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he can be here. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to... Here being, his... here being to the north of the Oh, mech. Um, yeah, just to the north of the mech. So he can kind of still be um, kind of behind some cover. Oh, I know. I can attack and then move back behind cover. What am I talking about? Yeah. You... Um, this is so path... here we this go. This is in Pathfinder 1st Edition. Uh, yeah, right? Okay. So here goes the attack. Uh, that is ooh hey way to go Crux. Uh, that is a nat twenty on Crux. Okay. Hello. Um. So this is force damage. Okay. So this is two d four worth of force damage. Let's go. That is a four and a three. Uh. Plus. Uh. Plus my proficiency bonus, which is a three. Uh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That is. 10 force damage, Kelly. 
10 force damage. Perfect. And then he's going to come back behind the behind the mech where he is, um, before he is a squish bun. He is a squish bun. And and and, and bunnies don't like being held by guns. You don't. You and don't bullets. know. You don't know this. I. That's you're, you're just assuming. So I, you, should, you should test this theory. That's fair. So that's ten force damage. Ten force and damage. I r really, really wish that took him down. That'd be hilarious. I, I, you know what? It would be hilarious. But he still has a couple of hit points left. That Sad. is a hell of a hit, though. So Crux is going to kind of bang him from the side. And he's going to be like, "Are you fucking kidding me? That thing looks ridiculous." He is. All right, Claudette, it's your turn. What do you do? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to move away from this fissure. Okay. And up to the side of the wall up here. Mm -hmm. Now, you said we regained 30 hit points? You regained 30 hit points. Oh, thank freaking God. Thanks for the hurt more. I was more. five away from dying. <laughs> Um, well, he seems to really like fire, so I'm gonna attempt cold and see if that does something. Alright. And I'm gonna upcast Chromatic Orb at, I think, third level again. Okay. And cast it as cold. I'm going to spend a Hurt Them More to make you roll a disadvantage. I hate you. Uh, yeah, that doesn't hit. Does not hit? Nope. Okay. No determination, anything like that? No. Okay. It won't do a fucking thing on a five, so. Oh, fair enough. All right. Uh, your chromatic orb is going to lash out, um, and he is going to dodge out of the way at the last second. Do you have a bonus action that you would like to do? Nope. Okay. Right. Ivy, it's your turn. Okay, perfect. Um, so Ivy is going to <laughs> feel kind of a little dazed from collapsing from the top. Um, and she's going to look at the sudden lack of Vary in a mech in front of her um, and realize that she's just staring face to face with or face to mech with Arcario. Um, and she's just going to take her crossbow and uh, level two shots with her crossbow at him because she's okay. like, I am in stomping, squishing range. This is true. Uh, so I am going to make two attacks. Uh, do, 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 do. She uh, has her lightning infused crossbow bolts. Oh, that one's cocked. That's going to be great. Um, that's going to be a minimum of 25 to hit. Uh, that will be a hit. Perfect. Um, ba ba ba. D six plus my D eight. Come on, Ivy. Ooh, wow. I mean, I'm rolling. Sh wow, that's the second turn in a row where I've rolled four for my like piercing damage. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be twelve points of piercing. Um, and then that's gonna be eleven points of lightning damage to it. All right, you are yeah. going to punch a uh, another bolt into the uh, into the side of his mech. It's going to just start crackling with energy. The mech is going to take a step, turn, and you're gonna hear, <laughs> and the mech is going to power down. Um, can I use a reaction to make it? Because my my reaction resets on my turn, right? Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, I would like the mech to make an attack at the next um, thing beside it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if we're playing it as uh, as that, let's do it. Because it is just a, any creature you that hits... You want to roll hits... for my attack? Um, sure. I would love to roll for your attack. So it just it makes an attack at the next closest thing to it. Sounds good. Um, that I rolled a 14. Okay. For, uh, that is definitely going to be a hit. Uh, that is, of course, I moved the page because I was like, I don't need this anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I love this blood curse. It's so good. Okay, so that is... Okay... 
All right. Uh, as the mech powers down, it is going to wing the one above it, dropping it into bloodied as it cracks it in the side of the head. And with that, I'm going to put the offer back on the table as the mech powers down and uh, the, uh, the front chassis is going to just hiss open and Akario is going to emerge from the mech uh, and be launched across the room by a high-powered piston. And uh, Claudette, what's your armor class? Ejector uh, class. Currently 20. Cool. All right, that is going to launch him across the room there. And he is going to yell, Cousin! I heard you wanted to see me! And I he's would gonna... also like to use my movement. Uh, yes, this is a reaction, though. This is a legendary. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's so fine. Just... I just didn't know if, if, if I was like, oh, if we're moving on to the next, like, my turn, is that done? No. Uh, Claudette, that is a... Uh, that is going to be a 15 and a 23. Okay. Okay. Uh, the 23 will probably hit you. So that's seven. Oh, God, that could have been way worse. That's going to be 16 points of slashing damage. Uh, and I need you to make... Oh, pardon me. 16. Sorry. 18 points of slashing damage. I need you to make me a strength save. Um, and Ivy. So you may move now that it, now that, that reaction has, okay. has been done. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Ivy was just going to try and get cover behind the wall, basically, with Leiden. Yeah, because you said we could probably leap over that. It's short enough to leap over those, like, concrete barriers? No. No, no they, are, they are 15 feet tall. Oh, okay. I thought... Okay, yeah, fine. Um, yeah. No, then, if you were uh, on the second floor, but the second floor does not exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, then... Mm, mm, Ivy's going to stay kind of behind there, then. She's still somewhat... All right, sounds, sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, Claudette, uh, did you, what'd you get on your strength save? Five. Okay. Uh, he, she is he, not strong. <laughs> he is going to, uh, knock you prone. And, uh, Talski. Talfran, it's your turn. Talski in the pit. Talski in the Talski pit. Talski in the pit. Talski in the pit. There are no enemies in this pit. And that is there the I worst. know, all the enemies succeeded. What? That's the worst. At least I could have taken one with me. Anyway, um, is there lava in this pit? Uh, there. I mean, like trace amounts. Okay. Now that cool. now that the mech is is gone, there's not really. But are there trace amounts? There are trace amounts. Not touching you. Can I? Can Let's I see. make it touch me? Sure. Cause I don't know. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try to get out of this pit, but I feel like it's gonna take my whole action. It will take your whole movement to get out of the pit. I can handle that. So it'll take half your movement to get up, and then climbing out is going to take the rest of your movement. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, because I'm prone. Right. Chad is okay. saying that you're a pit fighter, and I approve. Absolutely. However, there's nothing else in this damn pit. So, um, yeah, okay. Well, that's fine, then. Um, I won't dip my toe in the lava. Probably for the best I will if you like your toes. try to just get out of the... Yeah, I was like, which appendage should I dip in the lava? But you know what? I think I'm okay. I don't have to. Uh, let's try to get uh, get out of the pit. Oop. Sounds good. All right, you are out of the pit. Good job. Nice. Thanks. And I guess I will hurl another javelin because nothing is in smacking range. Um, I would like to hurl a javelin at the mech right in front of me. Straight All across right. the fire. All right, so you're talking, you want to throw it straight at one of the troopers? Oh, no. Straight at one of the troopers. All right, he's a trooper. Heart of a champion, that one. <laughs> uh, and I will. Let's go. Natural 20. Are you kidding? All right, give me damage. No. Okay, so I rolled a nat 20, and because I get two attacks, right? No, I only get one. You get two attacks with, uh, you get two attacks at your level. Okay. Oh, yeah, you just said full movement, not double movement. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, perfect. Um, okay, so nat 20 and then 18. 19. Yeah. To hit? Okay. Yeah. To hit. Those, are, those are hits. Okay. Um, so... 
it's gonna be 14 plus eight is gonna be 22 damage, piercing. All right, how much? 22. Because they all do 1d6, but I did right. one crit, so that's 3d6 plus eight. Perfect. Because they always have plus four. Okay, each. so that is going to definitely hurt that one. Uh, nice. That is, okay, so how many points did he have left? He had. All right, uh, your javelins are going to slam into this one, and he's going <laughs> and is going to turn and look at you. And then down at the javelin, and then back at you, and this like skull. You have you ever seen a disapproving skull? Because you have now. <laughs> All right. Um, and with that, it is Yitri okay. and someone else's turn. Uh, uh, Yitri is going to see if his thing recharges. It does not. Uh, Yitri is going to take off running and kind of duck around this corner because he is just a cat um and someone else uh claudette do me a favor oh, okay you are going to feel a poke in the center of your forehead as you fall to the ground Mm-hmm. and hear a voice say you're all fired up get in there uh gain haste nice what does that do again uh you have a second to Google it, but basically gives you bonus to armor class, okay. gives you an extra action, and uh, you are not concentrating on it, so have fun. Haste is so good. How does he have haste? I don't know. He's cheating. Um, that's what he does. Uh, oh, right. I mean, have you met his god? Have you met his god? They right. cheat. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, it is time for the last Hell Knight. Uh, the last Hell Knight is going to uh, move forward and is going to, like, just... <laughs> and then realize that it can't quite move through Arcario's mech space, and it's going to just kind of push it over, and it's going to go... <laughs> and you see this look of, like... For a creature made of meat and gears, it looks very pleased with itself that it vandalized its boss's car. Uh, and he's going to push through, turn into the corner with uh, Talfrin and Ivy, uh, and is gonna charge you. He's still not in berserk mode. I can't believe this. Uh, he is gonna charge both of you, and uh, that is gonna be give me three attacks. Uh, Talfrin, you're gonna go. The first two are gonna come for you. That is definitely a miss, and that is a 27. Hit. And then Ivy, the last one's gonna come for you, and that's a 22. Okay, so that is 2d6 plus... Okay, Talfren, the first one is going... Oh, pardon me, the one that hits you is going to deal. Uh, that is going to be 11 points of slashing damage and <gasps> 7 points of necrotic damage. Okay, uh, is that before or after the reduction? Uh, that is... The necrotic damage does not reduct, but the uh, the other one will reduce. Okay, so 14 altogether? Uh, yes, I believe so. I said 10, right? Yeah. You said 11. I say... You said 11 and... Eight, so, seven. 11 and 7, so yeah. Uh, that, I don't know. Oh, 11 so, and 7. So, 11 and 7, so the 11 will reduce to 5 points of uh, of slashing damage, we'll say, as he hits you with the Hellblade. And uh, the... Uh, oh, let me move him there to hit you with the Hellblade. Uh, and the other will be uh, 7 points of necrotic damage. Okay, okay, I haven't used a reaction. Would you like to? I'd like to use my feet. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. And this is, I need to get chaotic. This Whoa. is and quick when reminder, you, you fucked up. It's because I said slashing because this only triggers yes. on slashing or piercing. If it's I, you have to draw blood. You have to draw blood. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll me a d20, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, fifteen. Okay, don't bother. I'll, I'll do this. All right, so Let's do it. he comes in, so do not apply the damage. Oh, okay. Uh, and oh, actually, of re-roll it. Roll the thing that we said that we wouldn't use. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That All was right. the one. We had one that was a language thing, like it <laughs> knocks the language out of you. But that's not fun to yeah. watch on a stream. So we we're like, oh, I gotta change that. <laughs> uh, six instead. Six instead. Okay. Uh, 
you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something, and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna make you an offer, and that offer <laughs> is that the one that was like kind of mad at you took a few steps forward, and this guy pushed past him. Does that seem like oh, a good offer? Sure, that sounds good. Cool. Uh, the attack misses and instead hits a target of your choice within five feet of the attacker. Uh, is that other mech within five feet of the? Attacker? Uh, it isn't. It is now because it stepped up. Heck yeah! Let's do it. Let's get him, partner. And uh, so he is going to <laughs> just spin around. Let me reroll my damage so that it's funnier. Uh, so that is... Yeah, that's going to be 10 points of that and 10 points. That's 20 points of damage um, that slam into the side of this as you hear grind through. Uh as the the Hell Knight slams his blade into the um, into the Hell Trooper, and, and he's going to turn and take a swing at Ivy, which does hit uh, because we rolled that before. That's going to be nine points of slashing damage uh, and twelve points of necrotic damage. So that drops down to six points of necrotic damage for yeah. you. Uh, I had a question about the armor. I'm assuming that'd be a reaction to activate the secreting poison. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Okay, cool. No, it's fine. I already used my reaction for the Blood Hunter thing, so uh, I just want to know for next. Oh, time. uh, yes, it would. It would. Yeah. Cool. Actually, cool. it would be a bonus action to activate it, probably. Oh, okay. So then it just lasts until it's tr until it ha something happens to it. But eh, we okay. we'll say we'll say it's a reaction. We'll say it's a reaction. Okay, fine. I'll wait. I'll wait for that for probably for, for when my reaction. I appreciate turns, that. But it's good to know. Yeah. Okay. No, I was just curious uh, about that. Uh, Zeke's gonna lean out of the corner and do some pew pew. Uh, okay, first hit is the exact same. Second hit is that, and third is a. Okay, those are. Mm, these are fine shots. Okay, let's roll some d12s. Uh, okay, so 22 plus uh, 50 points of damage uh, to the back of that one which drops it into bloodied oh and it's hit points nice uh okay so what i didn't give anything away all right uh zeet leans out the door fires three shots into the back of the back of the northward one's head and it's going to just like look around in in rage and and he's going to hear from the Hell Knight, turn around and look at Very. Uh, uh, Very, the Hell Trooper is going to take a step forward, and I need you to do me a favor and make me a deck save. Okay. Would the fact that she's behind this mech with cover have any effect? Uh, if you're behind, well, you're. I thought you were climbing up the mech. I thought you just said I could get to its feet. Well, its feet are at the the front then. Okay, well, um, that sounds good, uh, because I got I rolled an like, eighteen you, you on my. You would have only you would have you this was like the bottom of the the icon was twenty two feet from you. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so for the dex, I rolled an eighteen. Uh, so that's okay. a dirty twenty on dex save. Okay, dirty twenty. Does this take? Okay, so that's half damage then. Uh, ah! Opening a chassis, opening a, uh, opening part of its chest, it is going to hit you with a gout of flame. Uh, that is going to deal. Roll. I'm glad that I'm glad you succeeded. Uh, that is going to be 15 points of fire damage. Okay, I am glad that I succeeded as well. <laughs> oh, I can do this that many times. Nice. Uh, all right, and then other one because there's there actually there's two more um okay it's going to move up and is going to fire at uh okay it's going to fire one of its guns at ivy uh ivy uh that is going to be a miss and a hit uh so that is it is going to open up on you with its rifle uh and that is going to be six points of piercing damage okay and eight points of necrotic damage, which reduces to four for you. As it rounds the corner and starts going doof, 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 with its necrotic energy rifle. 
Um, it doesn't really hurt you that much, and that's really frustrating it. Um, and then this last one that just got gutted is kind of not sure about what it wants to do with its life choices. So it's gonna it's gonna just roll a check to see what the hell it wants to do with its life. Uh, and it rolled a nat 20, so let's do the smart thing in this situation. The smart thing is to impress the boss by killing a cleric, I've decided. Okay. Uh, it is going to rush forward, turn the corner, and is going to try to tear into you, Leiden. Well, you have Sanctuary up. I do, so I need a DC 17 wisdom save, I believe it was. Now, now you've it. made me self-conscious about doing the thing where I take off my glasses and... No! <laughs> I'm did sorry, it, Kelly, Did it miss I'm or sorry. did it crit? Like... Uh, it rushes toward you, blades glowing with infernal vengeance, and... <laughs> it stops right in front of your face with it. <laughs> and stomps a couple times with frustration in the ground, and... <laughs> uh, I got a 16, and I have a plus zero to my wisdom. Do you know how frustrating that is? Because I do a lot of damage and you're made of you're made of meat. It's these things are so cute. I kinda wanna have one. Uh all right, Lynn Leiden, it is your turn. This thing is right in front of you, having a tantrum as it can't strike you through your shield. Yeah, and it's also standing where I want it to go, which is really annoying me. Probably. Um Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if I can skirt around it without provoking an attack of opportunity. I mean, if, even if I did, it would still be a wisdom just for them to hit. They'd yeah, still have to I save think, to attack. I, I think that you should try. So I wanted to move. Okay, what was my range on this? Um, so I just want to double check a, um, a rule here. So something says that when a ca spell is cast, um, when a creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom save. And then if it fails the save, it takes its damage. Would that happen when I cast it? Or would it wait until its turn? Or would it happen when I cast it and then on its turn, once their turn starts? Uh, so repeat starts, that, please. Um, well, when I cast a spell on an area, if they're in the area when it casts, it's cast, does that count as them first entering the area. It's, it's one of those ones where it's like, whenever... No. Uh, so, uh, I believe at that point it, it turns enters... into an, in, that, that it turns into a when they end their turn in this area. It's when, it was when they start their turn in the area. Yeah, so, when a creature enters the area for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there, it must make a save. So it would not, it would not apply till the beginning of its turn. Okay. Yeah, we've had to look that rule up in the in in the past. Yeah, and it's because I was looking at specifically that it doesn't say for its first time entering on its turn. So okay, okay, so it has to be or starts so, its turn. Then why would it specify that as when it starts its turn if it's being cast on someone else's turn? Why would it specify that? Because that means that as soon as it's its turn, it has the effect. Or starts its turn there. Okay. Uh, casting versus entering. I'm looking up Spirit Guardians because it's um, a 15 foot area around me. Uh, so it's, you feel the air. Uh, Gorgon takes no damage. Spirit Guardians specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just checking something. Okay. Yeah, so it's, 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 you're creating a battlefield hazard. Is, is yeah. the way that it's defined. So okay. tech, it, you can't, it, you can't force them into the in to take damage immediately. It's when it tr it triggers at the beginning of their turn. Okay. 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 So I mean, uh, that's that's the way that we've always done it in Shards of Nern. Yeah, I just don't have games. characters that really play that, so I was. I'm not as so it's as it's much kind attention. of one of the it's it's definitely one yeah. of those things that people argue about. Um, yeah, and I can see why. Yeah. So let me just read it real quick. Yeah. And like I wish it just said if a creature starts its turn in that area, it does it. I just don't know why it specifies. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm going to say that it triggers on its turn or when, when it willfully enters. Okay, okay. In that case, I'm still going to move and I'm going to double check my radius here. Unless you, want to just take, unless you want to just take the offer to make it happen right now. If you want to give me an offer yeah, for sure, it, sure. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay, um, so I'm trying to hit as many of them as possible within 15 feet. Um, so I th think it's kind of overlapping a square, but All so that's 10. Okay, it was more. So like, that'll that'll hit uh, the two, uh, the two I'm hell knights and the and the pardon me, the hell knight and the two hell troopers. Yeah, yeah. So there's one right in front of me. There's that okay. one up north. There's the one to the south east. Okay, and I, then think you, I think you I'm might be able to hit edge. all of them. Yeah, if I. Okay. So I real quick, yeah. so you're gonna move through its space. Uh, it is yeah. not going to be able to strike you. Okay. With its reaction, um, it's going to try though. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So then this is my. Fl this takes an action. Mm -hmm. And so they flit around you. So calling forth a bunch of like cool spirits that are angelic in nature, um, flitting around, kind of giving this cool glow effect. I feel like her eyes glow too when she does this. Um, mm -hmm. And, and then, as soon as you cast this, your sanctuary bursts. It does. Yes. Yeah. Um, but as soon as any of them start their turns, then hmm? they will have to make that save. Okay, sure. cool. Perfect, thank you. Well, they're going to enter the square now. That's why you spent the... Oh, right, yes. Okay, yeah. yes. So that's I need... We... That's you took true. the offer. Right, the offer. I forgot that I took the offer. You took the I offer. I was like, oh, no, I'll have to wait. But no, okay. So um, I need a wisdom saving throw, DC 17. I'm casting this at level four, by the way. So it's one more. Okay. Um, I have three out of four successes. Okay. So um, the southern one is going to fail. The southernmost one behind the Hell Knight. Okay. So on a failed save, they take, we take, because I'm just a little, I just said level four, yes. Um, 4d8 radiant and half as much on a successful save. Um, yeah. These are d6s. Those should be d8s. Never mind, I'm just gonna use a dice roller. Uh, four, d8. I believe you can do this. That is a 26. Okay, and it's uh, no damage on a success, right? Half damage on a success. Half damage on a success, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so that is going to be 26, 13. That is boom. That is. Um, boom. Also, um, I'm designating all of my allies as unaffected because mm -hmm. I have to, and then any and all the creatures who are affected, anyone who enters into my range, that 15 foot radius, um, mm. their speed is halved. That sounds great. One moment, please. Um... Okay, so spirit guardians are going to rush out of you. What do they look like? So they are glowing angelic, like translucent, kind of somewhat um, indistinct entities that kind of are like glowing wisps of smoke and F nice. like fog. Okay, so what I am, oh God. Uh, all right, so that is going to slam into these four opponents of yours. Um, and the one that is directly behind the Hell Knight, it is going to stab into the back of its throat, causing its head to loll on the ground, at which point the armor is going to begin to heat up. And uh, I need... Uh, oh, it's only within five feet. Oh, no, but that's within five feet as well. Uh, I need a deck save. One sec. Okay, and that is success. So that's going to be another 10 points off you. Uh, there is going to be a sizzling sound as the the Hell Trooper just next to the Hell Knight explodes in a cacophony of flame, um, catching the back of the Hell Knight on fire. And uh, it didn't chain react, but that was still pretty good. Um, and that is going to be this round, unless you have anything else you'd like to do. Nope, I think that's it. Okay, it is Arcario's turn. Arcario time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna stab Claudette a couple times. So Claudette, I'm you're pr you're prone. How many hit points do you have? I'm curious. Not very many. 
Okay, so... Uh, it's not a very nice thing to do to your cousin. It is not. Okay, um... How many is not very many, I'm curious. 18. Ooh, there's a chance you're gonna be okay. Um, isn't, like, prone disadvantaged, so... Uh, it's advantaged. Yeah, but disadvantaged on my side. Yeah, So, like... I think you auto hit. Uh, you don't auto hit. Okay, so that is going to be... That was actually a really weak hit on the first run. Uh, so he is going to slash into you for 12 points of damage. And the second hit... Okay. Um, how many hit points did you have? 17? 18. Okay. Uh, well, you have one hit point left because he's going to slash into the side of you, reach down, and punch you in the face. Okay. What do you have to say now, huh? Come on. Join us. Give in. I'll send you to meet your brother. Uh, very. It is your turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm flipping into this mech. Okay, that's gonna spend your movement. That sounds perfectly acceptable to me, uh, oh. because these guys are in a neat line here. Um. To be right, right there. But... And. Uh, is there a way that I could that I could have that I could turn this so that the uh, a lion would hit the two troopers and Akario? Or Not he's even just, remotely. I didn't think so. You, you can't draw a line that way. No, but I can draw a line from me through those two troopers, though. Mm, yes, you can. And so, can you please give me a DC seventeen uh, save, please? Mm. I can on one of them, but uh, go ahead and roll me damage. That is going to be a solid 70 damage, Kelly. Okay, uh, that's going to uh, be... And that is, uh, what was that? That was four force damage. Uh, so 70 or so 35 on the one that saves. Cool. Oh, actually, he's still okay. As as Very hops into this thing, powers it up, and just goes, Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Choo -choo -choo, so that is boom. Okay, all right. You are going to glancingly uh, shoot through the side of this one, completely destroying the southern one as it explodes into the wall. And drawing that line, that's also going to hit Yitri. No! Uh, that is going to be how much? 35? Uh, Yitri's out. Ah! You I may didn't have, think that you, would hit Yitri. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, from where you're standing. Oh, Yitri. It would have to. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was, uh, I thought, I didn't think he was, uh, this guy was right here, right? So. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think he was 60 feet. Blasted him. Um,. Because it emanates from there. Yeah, he's only 45 feet away. Yeah. Now, could I have made that so that it... Because it's five feet wide. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, no, because I spent my offer to ensure it happened. Ha. Huh. Ah. Ah. Well, f fine. Be that way. Uh, also, Leiden, do me a favor and make me a deck save. Ah! What the heck? Okay. Uh, because as uh, as she cleaved through one of the Doom Troopers, it is uh, primed to explode, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, crap! <laughs> Not 20! Cool, okay, so... Next save of 21. Okay, so you're going to be knocked prone, but take no damage. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting that to happen. All right, and Claudette, it is your turn. Claudette, I have a okay. question for you. 
Can yes. you regain a hit points by using your thing? Because I think what? this is the moment. What thing? it is. Your, your mark from me. Technically, yes. I oh. don't know that she'd think of it, though. Also, I don't know that she would do it without Talfrin actually telling her to. Talfrin? But desperation. Oh, no, because she, talk she's until turn. in the end a good person. <laughs> and she's determined not to hurt Talfrin that way. So I think and she's Talfrin. put it out of her head. I don't know that it would occur to her with Arcario right over her this way. So. Can Talfrin scream at her? Uh, I mean, technically, you do. You, yeah. Oh, no, that was my question for you. You can always. Talfrin always can scream. I'm not going to stop it. Yes. Okay. So Claudette, you, use the mark! Kind of thing. Use the force, Claudette. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you do it. Spend me a uh, spend me your bonus action. Um, well, do I actually get hit dice oh, from it? I'll make you an offer. I was, I was, Cause uh, no, it inflicts. Did I, what did I just say? <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to read the frickin' thing to understand it. Who knows what that thing does? Okay, so it's a level of exhaustion for a hit die? Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, how many levels I was thinking of it would be like... Oh. How many levels of exhaustion do you want to inflict? Um, I'll just do one, because anything else could get... Uh... Three hit points. <laughs> uh, well, you add your con mod. Okay. So slightly more. Uh, five. <laughs> All right. Better so, than a kick in the pants. Uh, holding up your hand, there is going to be a flare of light as tendrils of energy are going to streak from oh, around the collapsed wall from Talvrin into you. Uh, and what would you like to do? You still have. Uh, okay, so that was as a bonus action, correct? That was your bonus action. You have many actions still, though. Okay. Based. Um, and it takes my movement to stand up. Half your movement. Okay. Um, I was trying to look it up. Does standing you, from prone, that provokes, doesn't no. it? No. That's Pathfinder. Okay. okay. Yep, that's addition fatigue. Um, so you, you can use your action to take the attack action, dash, disengage, hide, or use object action. Okay. So you get um, your normal action, then you also can then do one more full action. Okay, well, since I've been forced into close combat, um, I am going to um, hit him twice with my sword. Sounds good. And, oh, I'm trying to decide if I can do this or not. Um... Because moving will provoke. Okay. Unless you spend um, your other action to disengage. None of those are a touch attack. Okay, well, I will take the disadvantage on it, I guess. Okay. Um, so I'll do the two weapon attacks and attempt Ray of Frost in his face. Okay, because Blade Song is pretty great. Okay, so for the weapon attacks... Uh, that is 12 and 21. You, 21 will hit. You have a determination if you'd like to use it. Uh, oh, I do. That's true. Okay. Um, 15. Hit. Oh, sweet. Okay. And then... Uh, you don't wear lots of armor when you're inside of armor. Frost with disadvantage oh, doesn't hit. Okay. Okay, so... Two melee attacks. All right, and uh, are you active? Are you using your uh, your free action to activate your any of the cartridges? Yes. Okay, which one? Uh, I well, I am fucking doing the force one. Obviously. Yeah, that's, prob that's probably a good I one. I am thumbing that on. I already shoved it into my blades, so okay. I will thumb it over to that one. Uh, so that's so that would affect on both hits, correct? Yes. 
Okay, so hit number one is 10 normal damage. Okay. No, 13, because there's plus three. I forgot about that. Cool, that makes my math easier. And then... I always love that. Seven force damage. Okay. And then hit number two is... 10 regular damage. Okay, nice and easy. And... Ah! And you're adding the, the plus to attack and damage with this, right? Yes. Okay. And then 11 uh, force damage. Okay, he is bloody. One second. Um, your blade is going to crackle with, with kinetic energy and is going to slam into his lightly armored form twice, splattering blood across the ground as it's like it's like the a force of like air pressure is stabbing behind it forcing your blade through harder. And any other actions? Uh, I don't think I have any. Okay. Uh, I'm going to yeah, use... Yeah, no, I think, I, I think I'm done there. I'm use a reaction, do something stupid. What kind of potions do you have on you? None. Cool. We, we never got any. Well, a lot of you had them, but fair uh i had two minor healing potions from when we got hired and those um, got used a last time <laughs> do me a favor um what was what did you roll on the ray on the chill touch or... uh six okay all right so that wouldn't matter anyway okay sounds good all right so you doing anything else with your action i don't think i have anything else i can do besides move which okay. is just going to trigger a provoke an opportunity attack. Alright, sounds good. So, uh, you are going to stab twice in, and Ivy, it is your turn. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Ivy's gonna uh, pull out, switch over from her crossbow to the two, her two short swords, and uh, I was gonna make three fucking attacks at this, this fleshy, gross thing in front of he's her. He's handsome. Okay, but Ivy thinks he's, he could... He could look a lot better if he was not moving. Oh my god. Fucking yes. Nat 20 for one of them. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yes. Oh, and it was, I designated, it wasn't my offhand one. It, my two purple dice are my my good ones. And then uh, the, you the know, do what you gotta dice. do. Do what you gotta I do. Know. I trust you. Um, so then it's um, the Nat 20, and then the lowest one I got is a 19 to hit. A 19 to hit. Hits. Okay, hit. those are going to be two hits. Three hits, because the other one is oh, like an 18 three hits. seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I got, I got, ah. <laughs> too much dice. Um, uh, yes. Ready for it. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm trying to find more fucking D8s because I lose track of my D8s for some stupid reason. Um, okay. Okay, that's amazing. Um, so. Um, 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 um actually, I should just pull up a dice roller. That's too many D8s to roll. <laughs> um, I need. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. So for the first, for the crit, it's going to be 20. Do you need them separately? Well, actually, can I ask you a question first? Yes. How do you want to do this? Perfect. I have, I have had, I had a great narration for what I want to do with these attacks anyway. So well, I'd like to hear it. <laughs> so what Ivy is going to do, so with the first one, she has her like, lightning blade so for the first um attack she's just gonna run up to it and stab it high in the shoulder mm -hmm. while she's stabbing it she's gonna run and swing herself up use the concrete wall and like run up the side of it and swing around on its back rip out the sword and then with the other with, with her final attack she's just gonna like stab it down into beside its head and like cr crunch them 
<laughs> All right, so uh, crunching them down to the ground, you are going to bury the Hell Knight into the pavement here. The broken bits of stonework are going to run black, actually, with its blood, because this is definitely co- coagulated meat. Um, and it is just going to look up at you and be like, Ooh. It's going to try to tap into its Berserker Fury to take one final attack at you. And I rolled a two, so it does not. It tries to reach your throat and just uh, shrugs and dies. Amazing. I love how casual these monsters are. They're just like, oh, man. It's like a day at the office for them. I imagine <laughs> that evil would get kind of redundant after a while. Oh, beautiful, better luck next time. Beautiful kill. Uh, Talfrin, from where you are standing right now, you can see yeah. that the wall next to you has been basically blazed away by part of... Uh, uh, by the collapse and by part of um, uh, Varys' laser, and you can yeah. kind of you can see what is happening to Claudette right now as she is in a sword fight with her cousin All in right. the corner. What do you do? I think I can, I think I can just reach him. I actually. think you just can actually just by running through that out. hole. Yeah. Yep. Oh yes, nice. Even more so. Go oh, through yeah. the hole. I'm going through the hole. So I'm gonna go through the hole and run up to Akario right beside him. I think this is the best idea ever. And that's not very nice to do to your cousin. And he's going to take two swings. All right. Taking, taking two swings. Mm-hmm. Well, go ahead. Mm-hmm. So, I still, I still have nat 20. Points. Are you shitting me? No. Do you want to? I can take a picture <laughs> no, of my computer no, no, screen. It's fine, I it's use fine. a dice roller. It's fine. It's fine. I'm actually going to. Going to what? Take a picture. Did you roll another nat 20? I did. Are you shitting me? No. Folks, if this is your first time joining us, check the Discord to see these photos. Uh, yeah. I will post it to the Discord. Hold on. Um, I I have to do... You did a double nat 20. That means I have to do the ritual. Hold on. What's this? The the ritual. Um, I normally don't do it for more serious games, but here we go. All right, double nat 20. Uh, Give it to me. Okay. Um, Okay, so. Good, good, good job, Kowski. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just going to roll all of them together then. That'll be 8d6. Um, And are you activating anything on your sword? Yeah, actually. I forgot about it because I can actually hit something with my sword this time. I'm so excited to hit something with my sword. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. Again, how does that? How did we figure out the the charges worked again? You spend it, and you're you're down one. So that is one d six of the type of damage that it is. Okay. Which but doubles that's two on crits. Swings. Oh my god. So if it's so it's two d six on a crit. Yeah. With two swings or just. On one swing, on on each swing, it's two d six on the crit. Okay. So basically, assemble all your damage for each hit. Okay. So that would be one d twelve plus one d six. Um, then... they're actually two d six each hit. Oh, you're right. So you're rolling. You're rolling a total of twelve d six. Twelve d six plus okay. your strength twice, and twice. you didn't and say it. that you were doing um, minus five plus ten. Nope, nope, I forgot. But I'm you don't just need it. I'm excited to hit him. Because double crit means oof. Yeah. So, that is 42 um, on the dice, and then 50 slashing damage. Now, is that with your strength bonuses and, and your rage bonus? Oh, and the rage bonus. Which is plus two per hit. Oh, right. Uh, so that's 54 then. Slashing. Okay. Uh, Claudette, as you are in the duel of your life uh, with your cousin, uh, holding him off readily, um, you are going to fire a, um, a chill touch past his face as the spectral hand tries to grab him by by the maw. He pivots around, exposing his back as Talfrin runs around the corner. And how do you want to do this, Talfrin? Um, he's just, he's just going to yell, 
Well, that's not very nice to do to your cousin. And um, I don't know. How is he going to do this? He's going to... Chop, chop. That, yeah, he's going to stab him in the back. Okay. And then uh, probably kind of cleave him in half. I'm sorry. I mean, or maybe he could just like stab and then slash he, up. He's not your cousin. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, stab and then slash up. Oh okay. Um, so that is going to just bisect him at the midsection. He is going to collapse to the ground, kind of looking up at the ceiling like, like a slightly magma flesh infused fish that's hitting the ground, gasping for air. Uh, damn. Okay, death save for Yitri. Okay. All right. Uh, meanwhile, under part of the collapsed rubble, the uh, carbuncle begins to breathe its last breaths. Uh, uh, it was Towski, that was your turn. Um, I mean, you could desecrate the corpse since you did take it. Or, yeah, because you did take him down, you could desecrate the corpse a little. <laughs> if you really wanted to because <laughs> you do get one extra attack because you dropped him not in front of the cousin okay or you could <laughs> attack Claudette. Claudette I'm just saying uh, I think not this time <laughs> all right very willingly uh, give her your points uh, it is I guess can Claudette have a reaction yeah can she kick him <laughs> I'll allow it sure roll me a d4 <laughs> That's not the way the kicks work, but it is this time. Four. Okay, you're gonna kick him in the uh, four. That's, that's gonna be the vaccine. That's gonna be the liver. Just kick him. You're gonna kick the liver back inside of his rib cage. Yep, that works. <laughs> that's the only noise he can make at this point. Uh, it's gonna be Zeet's round. Uh, Zeet is going to st step onto the floor, uh, look at the scene of carnage. And uh, is going to uh, is going to look at the Hell Trooper directly there, and is going to fire a shot at him to give the aid another action to Leiden. Okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, it is the Hell Trooper's turn, which means that he takes uh, your Spirit Guardians. It's a wisdom save. Yeah. Is it? Uh, yeah. No, no, it's DC not. 17. No, it's, Unless it's, it's not. No, it's, okay. It's, it's, it's a two. Okay. I see. Um, I have actual D8s for this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Twenty? Twenty radiance, I believe, is what that ends up being. Okay. Uh, so Zed's bullet is going to skim, uh, skim across the, the uh, Hell Trooper, who is going to pivot around to look at where the source of the damage came from and at that point uh, how do your spirit guardians do it? I think it's a glowing um, like incorporeal blade just stabs in through the back like just right throughout the front. Alright. Yeah. Stabs directly through the back and out the front and uh, he will collapse onto the ground, vibrate and explode, which you are slightly out of his reach. So you are not going to risk taking the damage. So excellent, excellent work there. Uh, and with that, the fight is over. And I spare the dying Yitri immediately. All right, sounds good. The fight is over and a little bit of silence begins to flood into the battlefield. <gasps> She's gonna kill you. Akario says at your feet. She's gonna kill you. And she's gonna keep you. Just like your <sighs> But before he can say another word, the fire behind his eyes will fade. Your cousin is dead. 
stupid bastard couldn't even be useful just before he died. I'm gonna stab him again in anger. <laughs> All right. You stab him again in anger. And uh, from the side, Zeet will say, Grab whatever the fuck you need to grab from these people. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Before right. another one of these waves comes. We gotta make it to that, uh... Well, we gotta make it to the capital building. The palace? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Kelly. You. Yeah. Um, would I be able to take uh, a quick bit of time to just uh, have a quick look around for anything uh, like maybe mech related in here like uh, fuel cells or like additional weaponry or something uh, uh, or something that would benefit me maybe besides having a mech yeah, yeah like I don't know, like a, I don't know like potions or some shit I don't know uh, the rooms have already uh, been com like yeah. unless you want to search the yeah basically yeah okay so are, are there any uh, extra fuel cells kicking around for Max? Uh, they are all collapsed in the holes. Okay, they, okay, they were all actually in, yeah. in, in all the Max? Okay, cool. Uh, Leiden, what were you saying? Um, Leiden was actually going to turn to Claudette and ask if she could find, if um, there's any, like, passes or magical things on Akario's body to help us get into the Capitol building or anything that would be useful, um, and is then going to go around and pass off one of these uh, healing potions to everybody, and then we'll start heading out the door. Nice. Um, um, so you leave Claudette to rifle her sliced in half cousin's body. <laughs> yeah. It's only fair. Okay. Okay. Claudette's coming out of this very traumatized, I think. Hey, we all are, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think you started this game traumatized, Very. <laughs> that is a good point. Um, the um, the knights with the Gatling guns. Could I raid one of their Gatling guns? Ah, uh, no. Okay, cool. I mean, you can, uh, but you'll right. lo you'll lose your soul. Ooh. Okay. Uh, in that case, as far as what I'm doing is um. Uh, Crux is gonna come perch on top of the mech and just kind of sit there uh, while okay. I'm while I'm piloting it, and that's gonna be his his ride. All right, that works for me. Talfrin's just gonna turn to Claudette and just hand the potion over to her. I think I think you could use this more. Uh, you. Everybody, do me a She's favor. She's gonna take both <laughs> uh, immediately. Oh, sure. Uh, as you're about to do that, everybody heal another twenty-two points of health. Oh, nice. Okay. And um, walking around the corner, you're going to see Shirtha step into view going, What'd I miss? Oh, so shit. Sorry, I wasn't muted. You really brought the house down. Yeah, that was a plan. It's I mean, it's what we're good at. Another one. We She's still going to take though. both. <laughs> it's probably his ring, by the way. Or the necklace. It's always the ring or the necklace. That's, yes, that, that's fair. That's, I can take a look. You're right, you, it generally is. If you and she clone. will suck it up and <laughs> rifle his uh, very bloody body. You, uh, as you do, can you make me an investigation check? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So you are just, two. you are having difficulty with this. Uh, so you'll be able to, to grab it. ends up his, 10, I guess, technically. You'll be able to get his necklace and his ring off of him. Uh, his necklace is glowing hot to the touch. You think that that's what it is. Also? It looks Sorry. kind of like a jagged, crystallized bit of blood. And as mm -hmm. you hold it up, an ivy, if as it is inside of your sight, it is going to start ringing like a, a high piercing noise that strikes you almost like a dog whistle as it is exposed. It's going to be kind of uncomfortable to look at for you. Um, and Talfrin, you said Did you were... She... Sure, go ahead. Is it anything that she, like, recognizes? Like, is this anything that she's it... been exposed to before? It looks like blood. Like, it looks like solidified blood. Like, have you ever had a scab that was translucent for yeah. a little bit? It looks like that, but that's hardened into a stone. It's kind of a blackish red. And it's only when she's looking at it that she or it's is when it like it's an when it's in your line of sight. Yeah. 
Uh, what do you do? Oh. She kind of like turns and looks away from it. If it's like, is it like really uncomfortable? Or like, on a, on a headache scale, is it like mild or is it like migraine? It is, um, while you're looking at it, it is building. Okay. It is like I'm standing next to your next to your uh, next to you with a signal whistle. Just okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Talfrin, you were looking through the body as well, right? Yeah, I figured he was over there. <laughs> you can make <laughs> me an investigation roll. Okay, cool. Uh, and Talfrin is uh, will no, stop glowing like the sun right about now. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna try to reroll lucky. Okay. Uh, ooh, no, I think I have a negative to this. Gosh. Oh, well, that's a 13. Right a 13? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll say you can take time. Uh, all right. Okay. So uh, as you're hunting around in the body, you are going to find a vial inside of uh, inside of the leg's pants pocket, hmm. which is over across the floor a bit. Inside, you are going to find a cylinder. This, this vial is a cylinder um, about the size of, um, about the size of like, like a like a beer can, like basically, it's oh, okay. big enough that it fits into like the cargo pants that he was wearing, military issue <laughs> style. And what is inside looks like this. Hmm. Okay. Gold filigree cool. marks the marks the uh, the top and bottom of the cylinder, and as you pick it up, it swirls with necrotic energy, and it looks like it's full of blood. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show it to Claudette because I have no idea what it is, and she's very smart. She might know. Um, Claudette, you may make me an insight you know what roll this if you like. Found this over here. Insight, you said? Yeah. Uh, eighteen. If they're dosed up on. Uh... Uh, you think that's a vial of Lucia's blood? Um, that's probably her blood. What's it do? Why does he have it? Probably all of this. Uh, powering the max? And like everything else. Hmm. It's probably heavily associated with this Black Star stuff. Right. Right. If not, like, the Take vehicle for it. Look. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, walk over and hand it to, to Ivy. Ivy, can you make me a charisma save? Shit, I have disadvantage on that because of my top, my potions, too. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh, no! Disadvantage, you say. Charisma. Ooh, baby, that's gonna be an 11. Ivy takes a look at it, and you can see that it the blood swirls inside and glows slightly, and as it passes into her hand, it glows a bit more, casting her face into a red hue. She inspects uh, it for a moment. Maybe you shouldn't. And twists the top off and drinks it. Oh! Oh! Okay. All of it, every drop of blood pours and rivulets down her chin. And Ivy, mm -hmm. you are going to collapse onto your knees in agonizing pain. Oh, lovely. And you are going to hear all of you this burbling. Tearing sound inside of inside of Ivy. And as you do. Oh, that's gonna start preparing chromatic orb around her hands. As you do, Ivy. This is going to hurt like nothing has ever hurt before. Your armor is going to split at the back. Your skin is going to tear. And you are going to watch as through the membranous layer of Ivy's flesh, 
bone is going to start extruding from her back. Leiden, this looks rather familiar to you, actually, as two dripping, call-wrapped, membranous wings are going to push through Ivy's back. And as, with a scream into the stone, they are going to shake themselves off like a baby bird. You will see that they are made of blackish red batwing leather. Uh, Ivy, uh, you now have a flying speed. Uh, these wings are not retractable. Oh, okay. Uh, you also, what's your dark vision? Uh, 60. Cool. Uh, it's 120 now. Uh, what is uh, my fly? Is my flying speed equal to my regular walking speed? It is at the moment. I have to double check okay. that. Um, okay. But uh, you also, uh, you're going to get 120 uh, sight. Uh, however, you are going to suffer disadvantage in bright light. Um, Ivy's eyes are pure black now. So, Ivy. <laughs> Ivy. Leading slowly approaching and kind of like cautioning everyone to stand back. Yep, like, everyone wants to stand back. Back up a few steps. Ivy? Are you there? Are you still you? <sighs> Ivy? I'm gonna need you to say something. As she is moaning and making these noises, the sound that comes out of her throat is... It's twofold. At once, it's her normal voice, but there's a second voice beneath it that's echoing it. Husky and deep. Um, if any of you have seen The Exorcist, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. Her voice is doppled over itself, but you may speak normally. I, uh, I'm, I'm... I'm here. here. I'm in so much pain. Much pain. <laughs> she will take a look at her wings and she will just she will turn her head back to you guys and like a much concern on her face what did what did... does she remember yep. like when she you um, have vague drank. recollection. So you have the recollections of a college student the next morning after a party. Okay. So you so have she the vague she drank ghost of what you did. Yeah, okay. So she kind of knows what she did. But she doesn't necessarily know why. Cool. I don't know what came over me. Over me. You decided to try and look or touch the blood when you already have the plague that's caused by it. I mean, really, if she already has it, then what more harm could it do? You'll hear from the mech behind you. You're a bad uh, friend, you hear from the carbuncle. Uh, I didn't mean to get you. Kind of like, obviously, she'll be like, sh shrugging her wings a bit. Like, it, I assume what uh, someone would suddenly, suddenly have another appendage on their body. We go now. Can you act freely? Yes. yes. I think you should probably go in front. Yeah. 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 Just in yeah. case. You weren't acting on your own there. I don't know I what know came what over me. me. I just, just I had to, to 
Drink it. Good. Okay. Stay in front. Okay. Yeah. And she'll kind um, of like which, fan by the out way, her wings. Claudette has drank those two health potions. Good. Um, so do you you normally roll those? Uh, yes, they were forty four. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't have enough D fours out, so give me one sec. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, okay, so they're forty four plus four, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, correct. That's cool. what I had written uh, down. Yeah, it's gonna be thirty three. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, Claudette's back at full. Cat's right, we gotta get out of here. Zeet said. Zeet says. Alright, let's go. Alright. And and with that, Vary's gonna start uh, bringing the mech forward. Which, Claudette's gonna, like, catch Talfron by, like, the wrist before he moves away too much and just say thank you. Oh, anytime. Come on, we gotta go. And... Leden's gonna uh, stick close to Ivy and encourage Ivy to walk slightly in front of her if she's cooperative. Oh yeah, Ivy will actually kind of like, as she's walking and she's like trying to get used to the wings, she's kind of gonna almost like put them out to slightly obscure, like try and make it so uh, you'd be somewhat blocked by sight of anyone in front of her. I mean, there is a mech behind you. (laughs) True. (laughs) That that that's gonna make everybody think that you're trying to hide that you're about to like attack them. Hmm. <laughs> Just I think that's why mm, Leiden yeah. wants you in front. Yeah. It's like wings down. Okay. And she'll like try. She'll like think, think me like down, down. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be like getting used to them, and it's just like wings take some getting used to. It it yeah yeah. And probably at this point, actually you- disappearing. I'm guessing haste will end. It will. So you are going to need a minute. Yeah, so Claudette's going to stumble and stop. No. <sighs> What's wrong, everyone? You'll hear Zerthus say from the entrance. You all look oh. so glum. I Nothing. will point to her wings. Oh, it's only the end of the world. I mean, that's everyone's You're favorite right. pastime, right? You're a strange one. Yeah. Claudette, if you're feeling really bad, do you want me to carry you? Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll be fine. Well. How about we go see uh, we go see a queen about a door? Yes. That sounds good to me. Queen. By definition. Trying to dethrone that queen. <laughs> I was wondering when she was going to step up. Let's go. And with that, you walk into the city, burning and blistered behind you. In the distance, the dark towers of the palace loom in expectation, their walls throbbing and thrumming with blood. And inside, someone waiting for an overdue conversation with you is smiling. I think that's what we're going to call game for tonight, actually, because that seems like like the exact right place to do, do that. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, we got one more one more at least episode of Hell. Uh, so uh, you have flying <laughs> speed of 30 uh, when you aren't wearing heavy armor, by the way, Ivy. I had to double check Sweet. it. Yep. Um, and yeah. Sorry. <laughs> nah. You brought that upon yourself, my friend. Oh, oh I did. I know. I. Uh, I drank mom's Beautiful. blood again, and I got more powers. <laughs> Just stop so, you know? drinking your mom's blood. <laughs> it's fine. Well, what would happen if Leiden drank it? it, I wonder? Uh, we can always find out. It's the, no, it's, we don't want to find it's, out. It's the same thing oh that happens when you uh, cross the streams. 
All like, reality. I feel like it would not go well because so, of their opposition, kind of. I, I like how much Ivy and Leiden are, like, seriously becoming opposites right now. It's, 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 it's good, right? I have, I have a motif. Great. I, see, I don't, I didn't even read this entry. I just saw this when I was yeah. plotting one day, and I'm like, oh, like, when I bought this book, I opened it, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's the entire back half of the plot right there. Specifically, is that vial, that photo of a vial of screaming blood? I'm like, yeah, that—that that is my story. <laughs> like, so I kind we, of knew what it was, but the, nice. the, the the picture helps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also, guys, don't worry. You have you have the dog whistle for Ivy. If if she ever becomes too much of a problem, just hold up that crystallized <laughs> blood thing, and that'll just like headache her. <laughs> Either that, or it'll make her like devolve farther. Yeah, we don't know if it'll make it, that you just, if it's an accelerator or what. Yeah, All true. Right. So, it's obviously reacting to the plague. Did you guys have an okay time with that fight? Yeah. That was so much fun, Kelly. Oh, I was fun. taking That's a awesome. slightly different strategy. Which is not of dying? combat. Which is, well, yeah. <laughs> but I was trying, but the freaking area of effects, like, knocked me down by a third of my mm. hit points on the very first round. Oh, I might as well show y'all. Uh, do you want to see the monster that I used? So, um, for those of you who watch at home, what I tend to do is you can either homebrew monsters yourself. I prefer to, like, pick and choose things I like from existing monsters. That's why I buy books like Tome Beasts. Um, do you want to see what the thing that Akario's mech suit was based off looks like? Yeah. 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 Yes. It's so good. I was yes. like... Uh, hold on, I guess gotta find it. Uh, it is called a. I was trying to be smart and hiding behind walls. I actually well, tried were. to be smart this time. It did not. Work, I was though. surprised I didn't get oh targeted more often. Oh my That's gosh! Cool. Cool. That is amazing. Uh, for those amazing. of you who cannot see, it is a, a man-shaped centa cent. It is like mm. a centaur and a scorpion made of lava had a kid. <laughs> um, that's a pretty good description and like yeah. firewalker if the cherub is subject to fire damage its speed doubles and it can dash or disengage as a bonus action on its next turn oh, oh my god wow. I love that you can supercharge itself and it can create lava so you can literally just go Amazing. it's so good and it's immune to fire so like what are you gonna do it's so good, it's so good. At, least it doesn't, at least fire doesn't heal it yeah that would have yeah, been that, that would have been no it would have been great what are you talking about um, so, I had so much fun in my mech, I'll be honest. Yeah, when you were looking for other mech stuff, I'm like, all the other mech stuff was destroyed in the middle of the fight. Sorry. But you got, there was a spare yeah. mech. Yeah. Thankfully. It would have so, yeah. if we had you managed to destroy one. a mech and then jump right into another one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Fresh one with a fresh recharge, that which I thought that was very clever. <laughs> Yeah, you can't yeah. you can't double charge it, so you know you got the full one. Um, and thankfully, we had uh, Shirthis running around helping us out with the healing. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Right? Yeah. he wasn't helping anybody. He was eating popcorn in the corner. What are you talking about? Yeah, totally. There is no <laughs> proof that he helped you. There no, is no it's proof. true. But it did mean that I wasn't blowing cure spells or like casting healing word just to try and keep people alive. Yeah, sanctuary well, it definitely was... kept Claudette alive. Yeah. Sanctuary so at the beginning is of that really... fight. Oh, sorry. Uh, at the beginning of the fight, because I, I took the superior healing potion, I was at, I was at eleven hit points after you hit me the first time. And mm -hmm. from the beginning of the fight, I was like, "Oh boy, I'm so glad I have this supreme healing potion because I'm at eleven right now, and I will go down if anything hits me." Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. No, I was trying to, even saving on the deck save and hiding behind a wall, I still got hit. You did. Yeah. Sorry, like, he, you knew he was going to pick on you. A third and then another though. third in two rounds. And I was like, ah, upcast yeah. everything. <laughs> upcast, upcast. Yep. I have Always. three spell slots left. I have, I have, and they're like level twos. I don't have very many left either. I've got yeah. just a few low level ones left. <laughs> I've used all my blood maledicts, but those come I back can, on a short rest. Thanks. I have me. one left channel divinity, which I can use as a, um, if I use a bonus action, I can bring back up to a level, like a level one or two spell slot, but I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. It's tough. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, folks. <sighs> uh, yeah, I mean, if we can potentially take a short rest, would be good, because I can use Arcane Recovery to get back my fourth level spell slot. <laughs> mm. But nice. I Warm could use some hit points. Here. Yeah, well, we can just see if, we, if if Zeke knows the way. Zeke? I mean, like it's literally like Zeke. right there. You can see it in the corner. 
Like yeah. I said, the, just in the towers uh, are yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, like to like a place where we could just like catch our breath. I think you could take you could take a short rest for sure. Because my short rests are only ten minutes. Because yeah, because that's where you get some orange slices and some Gatorade, <laughs> and you just you just get back in there. Exactly. Well, smack on the ass and get back out there. Uh, <laughs> well, if we can do that, then I'll take my one fourth level back. You just just absorb all of Talfren's hit points. Get all your spell slots back that way. Christine, yeah. that vitri vitriolic sphere. That thing was ridiculous. Oh my god, that was beautiful, that was amazing. That was am yeah, like wow. if you had yeah. to take anybody out of this fight. You no, all got but, the kills. But, but you did, didn't get any you kills. You did 200 points of damage in the first hit, though, because we would have been of, yeah. so yeah. much more screwed if you hadn't like whittled yeah, like them you, down you so much. Yeah, like you, you literally, you oh, literally yeah. swayed the fight. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. why I had to do it because I that, that three awesome. hits and I'm down. Mm. But that was very like even at eighth level, even with 20 AC. And yeah, you went toe to toe did. with with our car. My out. AC actually did not help me for a single like hit this round. Every time I got hit, it was like. Over area 20? effect damage that oh. AC had nothing to do with. It was like, fuck! Sorry. Yeah. Alright, so, I think we should call it a night here, folks. Thank you so much I for tuning so. in. Uh, I want to say thank you for tuning in and for enjoying the Reign of Emerys. We've got um, what is this, episode 19? We've got five episodes left, as far as I can tell. Wow. So, I hope you enjoy it, uh, enjoy it with us. I think that we're here for three weeks, and then we have a two-week break, and then we're back because Extra Life and um and something that the door kills team is doing intersects there so we'll have the last like the double feature right at the end uh so i hope you stick around i also wanted to thank everybody who has supported us by joining the patreon uh because we just got another new person this week which is so fantastic um i want to thank uh i actually want to thank um the new person but i don't know what they want to be referred to and on, on stream uh and i really want to respect people's people's names so thank you new person you know who you are um uh but also thank you to taryn the the other prince of the patreon because we have two now <laughs> uh thank you to dm mike i hope you were enjoying the the chat there and that you're doing well with your school man um it's great always to see you uh dm mike is one of our divine producers there's also shalton who is a divine producer as well and is responsible for black star so you know blame him and I Thanks, sent him Sheldon. photos. I sent him photos of what Lucia looks like, and uh, he is very excited. <laughs> I got a big thumbs up on that one. <laughs> nice. And then, oh, hey, potentially, like, let me know if you are watching right now and know what you want to be called. But. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's so, this? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Um, I will let you know in a second. Also, wanted to say, uh, if you are watching the door, or watching, if you're listening to the Dork Tales podcast, uh, twelve new episodes were uploaded today, and uh, I'm going to. Uh, oh, I would also like to thank that that previously unnamed uh prince of the patreon who i literally just got his name in the chat right now uh so buddy or dustin i'm gonna go with buddy because you're my buddy buddy uh so buddy 1977 thank you so much man really appreciate it it's wonderful having you in the chat and and on the patreon now because then you get cool stuff um and thank you for being the one of the princes of the patreon which is like being a prince of the universe um yeah, so if you w like what we do here, uh, you can support us on Twitch. It's still September, so you can get some cheap stuff uh, on YouTube. Yeah, like and comment. It really does help. And um, if you really want to help us, you can also join us on Patreon. Uh, or you can be here every game and be really hype and upvote us on everything. And, you know, just help us spread the love. Um, it, really ma it really matters because this is this is something that I really enjoy doing. And I think I think you guys like doing it too, right? Nice. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little bit. Just, just a bit. Just a tiny bit. Just, 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 just a smidge. I freaking love this a lot. <laughs> we love this a lot. We love you a lot. I love you a lot. It's a community. And I love you too, random citizen. I love you, random. I love some... you, specific citizen. I love you, specific chick in the corner. All right, so um, that's gonna be it for us tonight. Good night, everybody. We love you very much, and we'll see you next time yeah. here in hell. I mean, Emery's. Same thing. All right. Bye. Same thing. Mm, right now.